company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dies that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies, we have coloring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping molds where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Hi, my name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We've brought them to a chander and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. So join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Good morning on this lovely Thursday. Now, our lovely Jill, who's in the studio. Morning, Hello. Jill. Morning. Um, she was in last night, actually. Nine o'clock. You're burning the candle, aren't oh, you? Oh, I'll tell you what. I'm going back to bed when <laughs> I get back to the hotel. That's it. Have breakfast first, though. Yes, breakfast first. They do first. a lean breakfast where you're They staying. do a love egg, egg benedict. Oh, it's really nice. Very nice. So, now, was it a different show last night? Yeah, we did our launch of Festival of Japan brand new stamps. Oh, amazing. Yeah, had four sellouts. Uh, there you go. Very good. So, please do have a look on Rewind at 9 p.m. last night. However, um, if you've not met Jill before, you might be new to us here at Hachanda. Do you want to tell us a bit about yourself, Jill? Yeah, if you haven't met me before, you're pretty lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I run a, a tour company called Festival of Japan Tours. Uh, we take people to Japan. Obviously, that's not happened this year. So we've spent a lot more time doing craft stuff. We've always worked at the craft shows yeah. um, because that's how we, we do what we, our job with the tours. And it turned into its own baby. Um, my job's always been designing. Uh -huh. I don't do sewing. I even can, though you bring fabric? Even though I bring fabric, I can sew kits. and I don't do card making. But I get the designs, pass it to mum-in-law, she yeah. does the designs, tells me what's right, what's wrong. Um, so she does all the making up and I do all the designing. Lovely, thank you, Jill. Right, we've got some really, really interesting items on the show. Now, hopefully I'm going to pronounce this correctly, Sashiko. Perfect. Hey! Perfect. Right, so this is your Sashiko bag. Do you know what sashiko means or what sashiko it Sashiko just means stab stitch or short stitch. Right. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a very specific Japanese uh, stitch and I'll explain a bit more when we, when we do some drawing up of, that, of what it is. That is lovely. Look at all of that. Really pretty patterns, aren't they? So what do we get in this kit, Jill? You get uh, Japanese linen, which mm -hmm. is a really lovely quality indigo coloured linen. Yes, it is. You're yep. going to get uh, 30 metres of sashiko thread, and that's very specific. It's, it's not a thread for sashiko. You need sashiko thread. OK. Uh, you're getting the needle, needle threader, which is the key thing in your kit. Yeah. You're getting the liner... Full, in, full sashiko instructions. Mm -hmm. You're getting chaco paper, which is transfer paper. Okay. You are getting instructions on the bag, templates. Yep. And I had some um, spare pattern sheets, like these ones you're holding up there now. Ah, excellent. So I've put five free ones in each, uh, in each kit. Oh, that's marvellous. So you've got some ideas to get you started. So you pretty much get everything you need? Everything you need, yeah. yeah. 
Lovely. And um, what sort of ability do you need to be? For Sashiko, mm, you need to not be too worried. I think that the scary thing with Sashiko is people think that if the stitches aren't perfect, yeah. it's not right. That's not what craft's about. No, it isn't. Craft's about enjoying it. If you've got a couple of odd stitches, who cares? So nine years upwards. Nine years. Yeah. So basically, there is no Sashiko uh, police. No, no Sashiko police. There Absolutely you go. Not. <laughs> but have another look at this bag then. Isn't this so pretty? Um, lovely. So is there, are the handles made out of the linen as well? Yep, you get everything in there. The handles are uh, the same. And what I also added to that, which is on the website but not there is you get uh, a metal fastener as well oh you do yeah i found some in the workshop so you have got a fastener for the top as well in there now ah oh, and lovely little extra that you didn't know about fabulous look at those what a lovely kit so this is 26 pounds and 95 pence because remember this is your sashiko hopefully i'm pronouncing it correctly proper proper thread okay and you get that lovely linen as well uh 26 pounds and 95 pence 549573 then we've got our tear, teardrop bag kit and we've got three colour choices. So the first one is the bright red. I like this one. Of course I do. And there's a bit of foiling on the material. There is. It's 100% uh, Japanese cotton, so you're going to get a really good quality cotton in there. Yeah. And all traditional Japanese patterns, as you know with me, has to be traditional. Absolutely. So what do we get in this kit then, Jill? That one, you get the fabric, you get the ribbon, you get the button. Um, the button is there. It's, it's the wrong colour for the bag. But the button is meant to be covered. Right. And it does show you in the instructions how to cover it. I mean, it, that's not such a bad colour. No, I think that's all right. But you can cover the button with a little scrap that's left over. And these bags are great because you can enlarge them. So you can make a, like a big size once you've got that pattern. Yeah, once, you, once you've yeah. done the one. I mean, look what an adorable size this is. Isn't it gorgeous? I do like the shape of it, Jill. Yeah, can you see it's got a nice dip at the bottom, so it's like a lantern shape at the bottom. Yeah, really like that. And you've got the template as well. Template in there. And again, nine years upwards with a little bit of supervision can be making these. Marvellous. So it's just a choice of uh, which one you, you prefer in terms of the fabric. So this one is your bright red. And, of course, you've got the full instructions. Then you've got the Asanoa. Sure, she's good. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what does Asanoa mean? Asanoa is uh, a traditional sashiko pattern. It's probably one of the most popular patterns. And the nice thing about that one is you can actually stitch over that pattern. So you can right. embellish onto it and add a bit more onto it. Oh, I could see that, yeah. Yeah, so can you see the pattern on there? Yeah. So that's a very traditional pattern, that one. That's really sweet, isn't it? Could you, you know, if you wanted to have it as a little shoulder bag, you could extend the... Um, you can add a, um, a metal strap to it or yeah. really easily put another handle on it. Yeah. Uh, you can mix and match, put a black handle on it and, and make it longer. Nice. And then the third option is your uh, dragonfly. Ah, this one's in the lead. Is it? Yes. Ah. Does that surprise you? No, not in the <laughs> least. Dra dragonflies are really, really popular. <laughs> So we are 10% gone. And I like what you've done, actually, in terms of the fabric because you've put a really nice contrast in. That's just to fill it out. Don't worry about that. But just the, um, the red and the black. Yeah, and you can stiffen them if you want to to make them, you know, heavier. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's just it's a nice little little weighted bag. It's gorgeous. And can you see the, the, once the buttons are covered, they're really uh, cute on the front there? They are. So you do get the button, as Jill says, and a little bit of ribbon, but they do look really good covered, don't they? See, these, for me, this sort of bag is what is a summer bag. When I'm in my shorts... That's it, just to put your phone in? Yes. Yeah. Phone, Suntan lotion lipstick phone. Lipstick keys. <laughs> lipstick for me. I've got to have my lippy, Jill. I've got to have my lippy. Oh, I'd rather have the suntan lotion. Oh, I'm no, that as well. I'm pale that and well. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, so each option is £16.95, 791612. <coughs> then we've got the bag with the pocket. Is this basically the same shape? It's the same shape, but yeah. it's got the pocket on the front. This is my favourite one because it's the fabric is reversible, so you can choose to have a red bag with a black pocket or a black bag with a red pocket. Oh, you can just watch your mic. Sorry, Jill. Oh, sorry, darling. That's all right. <laughs> um, yeah, you can change, change the colours however you want on that one. Oh, I do like it this way round because I think the red then is a feature on the pocket. Yeah. You I can like put four around. pockets on it and have, if you enlarge the pattern up from A4 to A3, yeah. put four pockets on, on all the way around, you've got a great craft bag. Yeah. So it's a really adaptable little pattern, that one. 
and you've popped in a slightly larger button for us. Yes, it's got a bit bigger button on that one. Oh, I like that. And again, cover that up. Mm, this is my favourite favourite. <laughs> Out of all of them we've seen so far, this is my favourite. Yeah, favorite. Uh, black and red are very yeah. traditional, aren't they? Nice. <laughs> Megs just said it matches my outfit. Actually, it, oh, it totally does. Look does. at that. Yeah. It's like I planned it. <laughs> like that. It's not like I planned it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it matches your outfit. Everything I wear black, so everything <laughs> matches my outfit. You got a nice bit of colour across yeah, the Yes, so everything's black. <laughs> uh, so it's uh, eighteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Four one four three one zero. Then we have some bag handles. Uh, choice of colours, so you can either go for the black or the burgundy. Um, and they're in a really nice size, don't you think? Just to go over the shoulder, very yeah, nice. Yeah, they're just, just big enough without being overly long. Say that uh, again, sorry. Just, just big enough without being overly long. Yes. Uh, so <laughs> that they fit well. And they're, they're nice quality, those they ones. They are. You can really feel the quality. These are, these are things that tend to be found in the workroom that oh, I've see. had for a long time and haven't even remembered I had. Oh, no, you've got oh. to use them at home. You've got to, got to get these. Um, now, it's faux leather. Uh, um, Meg, what did you say the length was? 120 centimetres long. So you've got your lovely black handles, or you can go for, they're like a burgundy colour, aren't they? Very See, they nice indeed. they match as well. I know. They match you as well. I don't know what it's I like, It's like not, we were just I don't know. on the same level this morning. <laughs> we were psychic, that's what's happened. Uh, but they're really, really, honestly, when you get the... The other thing about them, the quality, yes, but they're also very sturdy. Now, because, I mean, I mean, I sling my handbag about all over the place, you know what I mean? So you need something that's going to last. These are sturdy. Uh, £15.95, 316651. Then we've got the clasps. Now, these are always really busy, aren't they, Yeah, they go out as soon as I get them in. Look at this. Now, the fans. So I've not seen fans No, this is before. a new one. We've, we've got loads of new designs coming in these. Oh, it's just, it's just, because it's got magnets in, it's just and melded it's into a big lump. <laughs> um, and Ooh. later on, I'm going to just show people how to insert that into the top of the bag as well. That would be marvellous. You sometimes... don't get instructions with this because it's an add-on to what we had on the last show. I remember because I was with you, yeah, wasn't I? Yeah, because you did the little purse with me, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, so the little purse, just so you know, I can't remember what date it was, though, but I'm it sure it's still the on rewind. It was the 20th of... July. Oh, well done. It's almost exactly a month. Oh, that was my birthday. It was your birthday. That That's was right. right. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, so you can see how this fabulous bag was made. What's the bag called again? Uh, it's an Ori. So Ori, Ori means to fold. That's it. It's really cute. So you can see how that is made. But anyway, in terms of your fastenings, you have got the gold, which is here with the lovely fan on. You've got the silver. <laughs> yeah, they have all stuck together, haven't they? It's <laughs> funny. Uh, or you can go for the bronze, which is a little bit more aged, old. You do worthy. get three of each as well. Three, thank you, because you can't quite yeah. tell because they're all stuck yeah, together. They're all, all joined. Let me Magnets see, now, work then. Yeah, they do. Um, <laughs> now, let me remember. You so, unpop un unlock, that. Slide to slide the top. Slide down that. Oh, look at that. And it makes a really uh, great top fastening. So it's, yeah. it's a nice individual little... It's nice little and clip. secure, isn't it, Jill? They're nice, nice magnets on those ones. Yeah. As you, as you can see. Yeah. So that's the sort of thing that it does, but they're really cool. So those are your options, gold, silver or bronze, £14.49, and, and that's the fan option, 355235. Five. Now underneath it, we've got the round. <laughs> okay, yeah, you really see the magnets. That's funny. Let me try and find the round bit. There you go. Just so you can see. Well, these ones have got owls on. Owls. Let me see if we do a bit. Turn, let me turn it the right way. There you go. Can you see the owly? Here he is. So Owls in Japan for forward thinking and looking to the future. That's it. I've got to try and remember yeah. what you taught me. Yeah, you, you, you're all doing very well. What did the hair mean? It was the hair and the moon. Yeah. So it was being nice to the being nice to everybody. Yeah. Remember the God saved the rabbit from being in the fire. That's and, it. Yeah. It's coming back to me. Coming back to me. <laughs> uh, so you've got your gold option. How many are we getting here, Jill? Is it um, three? You again? get a pair. Oh, a pair. Yeah. So you get two sets. Lovely. So you've got your gold. You've got your silver. So this is of the bigger ones. There you go. And again, you can go for the bronze. I'm really attracted to the bronze. You know, I would normally be, but the silver is such a nice silver. It's like, really um, bright and clear looking. It is, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. So it's just your choice. Uh, you're getting two, 
42313 is your item number. Uh, we're going to crack on, so go to the website at hachanda.com if you wouldn't mind, just to have a look. We've got some fabrics on the show. We've got some really interesting um, instructions about the art of furashiki, which is folding. Oh, you're good. You are good. <laughs> I'm trying my best, Jill. You are good. <laughs> you are lovely. <laughs> uh, so have a look at the website. Now, do you know what? Right, Jill is an absolute fountain of knowledge. So, uh, if you would like to ask her any questions, I know it's quite early, but no, still. No, it's fine. I'm fine now. Oh, you're all right. That's I never good. got that coffee. Oh, no, you didn't, no, did you? No, I didn't have my coffee, so... Oh, bless you. Answers, answers could be weird. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, yeah, so if you've got any questions for Jill, please send them to studio at hachanda.com or you can pop a little note on our Facebook page. Um, but you can see on there, we've also got some seven-day savers, by the way, uh, that will be going back up in price on Sunday. What day is it today? Thursday, 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 Thursday. There you go, there are your seven day savers. We've got some scissors, we've got some yarn, we've got some, um, th that lovely little um, bundle, you know, your knitting bag, craft bag, and your yarn tote bag. There we go. So, um, over to you, Jill. What, what, what are you going to do for us first? Well, I want to explain um, the basics of sashi coat again. So, I just want to go through um, how you get started with this. In this kit, we've got some Japanese linen, which is absolutely perfect to use. So you can use any fabric. Um, you can use linen, cotton. You can even use polyester if you want to. Don't worry about the fabric. I think a lot of time, time people are too worried about getting absolutely everything perfect. Nothing in my life is perfect, as I want to say, except my husband, apparently. Aww. Apparently, he's pretty perfect. I don't think I'd swap him. I've had him 30, married 31 years now. So I think we'll keep him. Um, so just use anything you've got hold of. The only thing I will say is you do need sashiko thread. So you need a thread that has eight strands. And this is really, really important to get that look. If you don't have the sashiko thread, everything tends to be flat. So we really need to have this thread. If you were to try and thread this needle through the eye here without putting the needle threader on what can happen is can you see you've got tiny little fibers in there yeah yeah so you've got strands if one of those strands comes loose right the whole thing will start to spin okay so you've got to that's why this thing is the most important thing in your kit I the didn't needle wonder threader. why you said that actually yeah. yeah if if you if you haven't used a needle threader and it's surprising how many people haven't when we do classes it goes through the eye of the needle when you've got your specs sorted mm -hmm. out, there we go. You pop the thread through the eye and then you pull the threader. And that's going to stop putting any strain on your thread. The worst thing you want to do is put strain on the thread. Okay. So we've got it all threaded up. Is the thread made in some sort of di different way? To like yeah, it's a thread? twisted thread. Right. And it's unfinished, so it's not a shiny thread. It's a completely matte thread. Okay. Traditionally, in sashiko, it would have been an off-white because they couldn't bleach. So they would have used uh, sort of the, the traditional hemp colour. Sashiko has been gone thousands of years. It was fishermen and farmers used it to mm -hmm. uh, embellish their clothing. And that's just what I've done on here. I've just put yeah, a bit across the top. Liking, so you, yeah. you can stick a little bit anywhere. It doesn't have to be an item that you just start in. It can be something you've already got. Uh -huh. So on your lovely uh, shawl... Uh -huh. If you got bored with it, yeah. you could just put some sashiko stitching around through the neck or yeah. uh, onto, onto your top. So you can put it on anything. Nice. The thing we do need with the fabric is it can't be an open weave. So when we come to something like some of the cloths that we do, that I'm going to demonstrate later, this, isn't, this is what we call an open weave. So can you see it's quite see-through. Mm. This wouldn't be ideal for sashiko because you need something with a, a little bit of body Yeah. because we don't want to see the stitches through at the back. So that would be a little bit too light. But anything like a denim or a linen, um, if you're doing a, a bag for shopping, then mm. polyester is fine. You don't want to be doing a, a, a silk or a cotton handbag for shopping. So <laughs> polyester is absolutely great. You can stick it in the washing machine, yep. especially in this day and age when we need to keep things sanitised. Indeed. So hole for the thread that you're pulling through. If you have a tiny needle and you're pulling through a thick thread, especially this one which is twisted, 
you're going to unthread it. You're going to rewind, you know, unwind it. And also it's going to put too much tension on the thread. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason we use the appropriate size needle for the appropriate thread. And we've got a nice needle. When you start off at the bottom, we're going to put what's called a sashiko knot in there. And a sashiko knot is sometimes called a surgeon's stitch. You're going to take your thread and you're going to tie a loop. There will be a test on this later, Alex. <laughs> so then you're going to put the loop through like this. So you have got that. Then you're going to take this tab again and put it through. So it's through twice now. So you've got a figure of it. And you will find that that's the tightest knot you'll ever get. It's tiny, so you can hardly see it. The, the point with this is wow, it's going to hold, but you can't see it. No, I can't yeah? see it. <laughs> uh, so that knot will work with lots of your other stitching, uh, and it's going to give you a really neat finish. And that is big enough to hold into your fabric. Okay. So you don't need to make... Um, sometimes, I mean, the traditional way to do it, I'm old school, is to put it round your finger, twist it, pull it to get sort of a rolled knot right. but look what you get so this is the rolled knot it's very smart very tiny and this is the figure of it yeah so it's much it. neater so it's a really good knot to use mm -hmm. in the kit you get a couple of different things you're gonna get your chaco paper and this is chaco paper so chaco paper is a Japanese transfer paper. It's not going to give you a really heavy mark. That's one of the, the things with it. It's going to give you a very light mark. And this you can use until all of the, the chalks come off there. So you can just keep using it and using it. If you want to use some of the designs that we've added in there, and these are the designs. So these are from one of our design books, and we just had some left over, so I thought it would be uh, just you know, nice to put them in oh, for everybody. So this is called Chidori. I really like that. Yeah, it looks um, like a jigsaw piece, but a it is. But one. it's birds, so it's a it's a it's an in interpretation of a Japanese plover. Is it a plover? A plover. So there's his head, there's his wings, and there's his tail. Right. So it's been taken down to its least form and made into a plover. So this is Chidori. Um, each one has a different. So this one, for example. So you know you had Asanoha when we did the um, one of the teardrop bags, this yeah. one? So this is Tobi Asanoha, which is a different version of it. Right. Um, and that, that one on that fabric is great to stitch over as well. Gives you really good confidence in stitching over. Um, and it tells you at the side, at the bottom, which directions to stitch in. And that's one of the key things with Sashiko. If you're just starting, and you want to do it right, uh, I think, Chandra, I've got my book on there. Yes, we do. We, yeah, yes, we do. so you can get my book. We just found out last week, in yeah. the first six months, we sold over 5,000 copies. Good for you. So I was really pleased. And I won Craft Book of the Year last year. Boom! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Why was it stressful? Oh, good Lord. <laughs> it's my second book, and it will be the last. Oh, bless you. Uh, so this, this pattern, for example, is called Fundo, and... If you look at this shape, this is the shape of a metal weight that they used to use when weighing out rice. So every oh. little every little thing in Japanese culture has got a meaning. This is a modern design. Yeah. So this is hanazashi. Zashi is the Japanese word for sashi, sashiko, so okay. zashi. And hana is flower, so you can see the flower. Every, everybody's going to get a different set. Yeah. So it's not going to be the five I'm showing you. It will be a random set, but right. there'll be a nice mixture of, of different shapes and patterns. To have a go at, yeah. yeah. So what you need to do with these when you get them home is photocopy them just onto a, a thinner sheet of paper. To transfer with Chaco, this is just a little bit too thick. This is 170 GSM. And you need something just a little bit thinner, so a photocopy is great. Shrink it down. Enlarge it up, do whatever you want to it. Once you have your design, you're just going to. I'm just going to draw straight onto the chaco because I haven't got a photocopy with me of that today. Okay. So you would put your chaco paper down. Some people have yellow, some people have blue, some people have pink. Doesn't matter. Makes no Does difference. Does the same job. Does the same job. Now the only thing I will say, 
when you're using Japanese chaco, which is this one, it's really important you don't heat set it once you've once you put your design down there. Why? So don't feel the need to then press your piece of fabric once your design is down. That can set it into the fabric um, and it's not going to come out. So oh. press it before you start, then put your design on and then press it afterwards, but try not to press or get heat on it in between. When you have your pattern, and it does make a really good craft bag, this one. Look at the state of my, my sketchings and drawing out. <laughs> so, um, not all of the fabric in the kit comes in a long piece. Some of it is, is ready cut. Uh -huh. um, I just have to, at the minute, have to use what I've got because I can't get to Japan to get supplies. Yeah. So, everything is a slightly different size. So, you're going to take your piece of linen... You're going to put on your pattern. The seam allowance is included in this pattern, so you don't need to add a seam allowance. And just read the instructions first, which is something I never do. Yeah, no, I don't think many people do. No, but I just read the instructions first. So you're going to lay it down. Um, I'm going to do all four together, because if you look at the bag that I did, it's got a stripe that goes through it. Mm -hmm. And if you want the stripe to be in the same place... All you would need to do, what I do with my ruler, is lay them down next to each other and just draw your design over the top. Yeah. So this is a, a chalk pen, so you can use any dressmaker's pencil, anything like that. Taylor's chalk, absolutely fine. The one that I designed for that bag is completely organic. So it, it, it happened and that's how I like to do most of my artwork. I, I don't like to have a, a set plan. Because then you're never disappointed. If you yeah. have a set plan and it goes wrong, you yeah. get disappointed. If you just sort of go with the flow, then life can be a lot nicer. So if you're wanting the side panels to be a stripe all the way around, mm -hmm. just draw it out all together on here. So you can see the Taylor's pen, the Taylor's chalk works absolutely fine on there. Yeah. You will get a thicker mark with one of those than you will with Chaco paper. Okay. So Chaco paper is quite, quite a, a fine mark. So you put your Chaco paper down. Uh, where's my other pen? It's there. And if you just draw with a, a some form of blunt instrument, <laughs> not not too pointy. Can you see how fine it is? Yes, yeah, very you fine. You don't want it any heavier than that with this with this chalk. Okay. You can't. You, I, I, from here, I can see it absolutely perfectly no, in this I, light. No, I, I can just about see it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we've got the flower design there. Uh, so you can do another one like that. Mm -hmm. So just just do it organically. If you feel that you've traced your design and it's not heavy enough, then you can go back in with your tailor's chalk and just enlarge it up so you have got a thicker design on there. Yeah. Sashiko is a ratio of stitch so a normal running stitch is one to one so it would be we're talking inches an inch stitch with an inch gap uh -huh. inch stitch with an inch gap sashiko is a two to one ratio right so we have a two inch stitch with a one inch gap uh, sorry it's a three to one ratio sorry, i've only i've only been teaching it for years <laughs> so it's right. a three inch it's stitch early. it's very early <laughs> three inch stitch with a one inch gap so if we were thinking about it on here it would be you're not going to do stitches this big, by the way, because it won't take you long to, to finish. That would be a traditional sashiko size stitch. Uh -huh. Running stitch or cantha would be this one. Right. So that's what makes it sashiko as opposed to uh -huh. a running stitch. You. If you want to do it as a running stitch, yeah. do it as a running stitch. If you want to put embroidery silks on it, if you want to do anything you want, mm -hmm. you know, once you've got the bag, play with it. When you take your thread through, it looks very long. Uh -huh. People do panic that that is sort of a long amount of thread. You must pull that down to about three quarters of the way down, because otherwise you'll have arms like that, a million yeah. miles long. I got you. We're going to go to the back. So I'm going to do this line at the top. So start at the back and pull it through. 
some people ask why can't I put this in a hoop? Yeah. We need to be feeling the fabric constantly and turning it round. So a hoop's not going to give you that. Um, it's going to make it really difficult because you're going to have to do up and down yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah. We need it to be sort of wrapped around fingers. So we're going to go in and I'm just going to do quite a big one just okay. to get it started. And then I'll do a recap if that's all right. Absolutely, you. while I do some stitching. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. So pull it through. Yeah. And it's as simple as that. You're just doing in and out, up and down. Try to stay to the top of the fabric core. So don't go down. So you're doing sort of three at a time, are you? Um, you can do up to 16 on this needle. Whoa! Yeah, but that's, oh, that's, I just don't like that. I like to do three. That's fine. And I'm just as fast. So don't go down and then come back up. What we're looking for in, in a lot of Japanese craft is a flow. So you, it's supposed to be mindful. It's supposed to oh, be yeah. chilling you out. So rather than going up and down, yeah. if you just always stay on the top of your fabric, I'll do some smaller stitches. Like so. Okay, so and stay on the top. Yeah. This one here will drive me mad. Because <laughs> is it because it's too Cause big? Because it's wonky. Oh right, it's wonky. Yeah. So that will drive me mad. But the best thing about sashiko is when you're taking it out, it comes out really easily. Can I just say that when you're taking thread out, you must use the eye end of your needle. Oh, so why? If you put a point into here and you snap one of those tiny little threads, yeah. if you do that and it goes through, you spoil that entire piece of thread because it travels all the way down. I see. So blunt end of the needle, right. hold the fabric and pull towards you. Amazing. And if you go to the back yeah. and you haven't done very many, you've got a lovely knot on there, so just pull it away. Seriously, Jill, I could listen to you all day. You are so amazing with your knowledge. Oh. You lie so well at no, 7 30 in so the morning. <laughs> You're being so serious. Um, right, I'll just do me numbers and all that, and then okay, I'll come okay. back to you. Oh, now, Jill's book is available. Have a little look. Here it is. So, Sashiko, and it's $9.99. Lots and lots of inspiration and information in there. Um, and your item number is 976908. So, you can make wall hangings, bedding, curtains, uh, brooches, even bags, as you can see, notebook covers. Um, there's so much information in there. 976908. Lovely. So here we go, we go back to our sashiko. This is our beautiful bag. You literally get everything you need. I now feel, because you've sort of, the way you've been describing everything, I'm like, I, so, I want to be so you could delicate have a go at it. with it. Oh, I, yeah, I would totally give this a go. I mean, uh, because I love embroidery and I love cross stitch anyway, I love hand stitching. You so can't I'd put sashiko down once you've picked it up. Really? Yeah, you oh, need no, to. Oh no, I was told that about French knots and that's true, so. <laughs> oh, we, oh, we do a lovely French knot. There's oh. some, there's some. Um, you can see them. Oh, they're actually colonial knots, which oh, is the next size up. There you go. Look ah. at those. How fab is this? Oh, I, st I do actually want to. If I've got time, going. I'll show you a colonial knot as well. Okay, that sounds good. Love it. So that's this beautiful bag. So you're going to get that wonderful indigo linen. It's really, really tactile. You've got your sashiko thread. Look at that. 30 metres in total. You will get that special needle and, as Jill said, the most important thing, the needle threader. Uh, you will get your full instructions and you'll get five sort of random designs for you. There you go. That's all in there. And the transfer paper and obviously the pattern. But it's when you've finished it, look at this. What a It's a thing of beauty, isn't it? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let's turn this around this way. It's beautiful. Look at that pattern. Fab. Twenty-six pounds and ninety-five pence. Five four nine five seven three is the item number. Then we've got the teardrop bag. We've got three different colours. Now in this one, you'll get uh, your fabric. You'll get the lovely piece of ribbon. You'll get the button which you can cover so it will match and you'll also get your fab template so really it's just a choice of which fabric that you love um, this one our bright red has that gorgeous foiling on it looks stunning obviously you'll get full instructions but it's really pretty look at that it's lovely then the next one this is the asanoa and this is also they're all really nice aren't they just that's perfect now you can just like <laughs> throw that word out what 
Asano half Asano. perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I'm feeling really it's proud like, of myself. Yeah, like, Asano, oh. man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is a gorgeous bag. So again, you're going to get the fabric, um, black lining. Just again to make it, it's quite dramatic actually. Uh, red ribbon, your button to cover and your template. Couldn't think of the word. And then um, the third option is your dragonfly. Right, we're nearly a quarter of the stock gone with the dragonfly. And you can see it's got that lovely bright pop of red. Lovely piece of ribbon, your button and your template. Each option is £16.95, 791612. Then the pocket bag, which I really like because it's a little bit dramatic. So you've got the lovely black and the sort of burgundy shades. Perfect with my outfit. Um, and you can decide which one you want as the pocket. You know, you could have the black pocket and the burgundy on the outside if you want. And it's got a slightly larger button, more of a feature button on this one. So that's really, really pretty. And again, you'll get the ribbon as well. Uh, 18 pounds and 95 pence 414310 now we have got our uh, clasps really busy for these so you're going to get three of the fan option Isn't that pretty they have got the magnets so they're all sort of stuck together at the moment but ah there we go let's pull one there so there you go and then let's get this so i can show you there so that's the sort of thing. Oh, help it was that way around. Lovely. And it's got the magnets. Isn't that pretty? So this is the gold option. Uh, then you have got the silver option. Three of those. Or, oh, I can see green on the screen. Okay, limited stock for the bronze. I just think it just looks... I like the aged look of bronze. It's like it's been lived with, doesn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah, that's what I really like they about it. They come out of the purses really easily as well, so you can actually swap them. Oh, cool. If you if you want something with a fan or oh. this today and you want a cap tomorrow or yeah. whatever, you can swap them over. Perfect. So this is um, a, an example. It's a, it's a larger one. And let me do this again. So uh, 20th of July, you can catch up on Rewind to see how this bag was made. And then pull that up. Oh, Meg really likes this. Meg, you're going to have to watch on Rewind. <laughs> but they're really sweet bags to make. But it's just such a really nice way to... Oh, she says I've buried it. A uh, really nice way to close a bag and just and the look of the bag is really cool, isn't it? So that's the sort of thing that they do. There you go. Um, so each option is 1449, 355, 235 is the item number. Then underneath it, we've got the rounds that have the owls on and you're getting two of these. There you go. Can you see the owls? Are they the right way up? I think they are. There you go. There's two of those. Uh, so that's the gold option. You've got your silver option. Hang on there. Oh, hang on. Let's put this that way. <laughs> there you go. There's a silver option. Or you can go for the bronze option yeah, I again. I don't normally like silver, but I really like that. It's just such an attractive silver. It's one. bright and clean, yeah, isn't it's, it? it's fresh looking. Yeah, it? yeah. So that's the bronze. Uh, 13 99 for the pair. 422313 is your item number. Now, something we've not mentioned yet. For a shiki. Yep, that's close enough for close me. Close enough. Close that's all right. enough for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what what is Furushiki? Furushiki is the art of gift wrapping. Lovely. Um, it's original recycling. I'm just putting some colonial knots in this to show you. Um, it's using fabric to its nth degree. Fabric was expensive mm. in the olden days um, in Japan, so you had to really be careful what you did with your fabric. You didn't have shopping bags, you didn't have boxes, you didn't have carrier bags. So you would take a Faroshki with you. Um, Faroshki. Faroshki, yeah. Faroshki. So you could take that for shopping. You can get a watermelon in this, this size uh -huh. and it's safe to carry. Wow. If you were moving house, your stuff would be wrapped in a wrapping cloth. Wow. Um, what I'll, I'm going to show you later is how to wrap wine bottles, which is always useful. <laughs> <laughs> so I now it's that. mainly used for gift wrapping. Yeah. Some of the more expensive Faroshki, you actually, they can be heirlooms. You don't actually get to keep that mm -hmm. if you get the gift. Yeah. You give the, you give the cloth back. Yeah, oh, I see. So you need to sort of... Uh, so it's almost like the, the cloth is, is worth more in terms of, you know... Absolutely. So for somebody to have given you that particular cloth... Mm. Just even to have 
presented it to you is just really special. Oh, how nice. So for, it's, a, it's a great... Um, Great way of wrapping things. Lovely. Let me just give you the um, options of the fabrics. Oh, it's so and they're sparkly. Soft. Yeah, I know. Which I, you know, <laughs> I like love. sparkly. Look at that. They're sparkly, but they're not garish, which is really nice. They're very classy. So if you're going out on an afternoon yeah. and you put your scarf on, mm. you get to a shop, you realise you need to carry your home fifteen tins of beans. <laughs> you take your scarf off. Yeah. You make it into a handbag, and you've got a handbag. There it is. This is, I can't wait to see this. This is fabulous. Right, so you've got your grey option, the black. Look at that. It's like the stars at night, isn't it? Uh, you can see your green here. It's like an emerald green. It's beautiful. Oh, it's so soft. Here's the light blue. What fabric is this? Uh, it's 100% cotton. Oh, it's beautiful. So they wash really nicely. Oh, nice. Yeah, and they've got um, a nice fringe on them as well. This is the dark blue. Then we move on to, this is quite quirky, this one. Look at this. This is the cat design. I can, where's the cat? Oh, there's a cat on there somewhere. There's a cat on Hopefully there's somewhere. a cat on that one. All right, that's the stalk. Yeah, can you see the... Oh, he's down there. There's cats and stalks. There's cats on there as well. Oh, cute. So if you have a toddler yeah. and you want to take um, a, a cloth to lay the baby on, you can then put its bits and pieces in there. When you're finished, take the baby off there. Don't wrap the baby in there. No, no, obviously. Uh, well, you can, but not. don't carry it home. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. There, is this cat, I'm just intrigued by this design. There, is it like being, is it like floating with, a, with balloons that are shapes? No, those are, um, you know these things we used to get in the olden days that you spun? Like a dr dirndl, drindle, dirndl? Yeah. Like a... Spinning top. Spinning top. Oh, They're spinning tops. Are they? Yep. Fascinating. And what sort of size is this? That is, I think, is it's. I think. It's oh, one thirty by one thirty. Meg told me. Go. Go. <laughs> Thank you, Meg. Yeah. <laughs> she says that's quite all right. And that's the same cat that's on the fabric that you held up, the Maneki Neko beckoning ah. cat. Okay, so that's what we were saying. That's the cat option. Shall I hold the stalk up? Okay, let's hold this one up. I'm intrigued by the and then we've got one more option haven't we oh, i think i brought you two the same oh let's have, have a look. you i have yeah oh i see Wait a minute let's have a look i maybe brought two the same i'll just show the oh, last one, the one. There you go. that's all right is it okay to pass you this um if you hold it i'll up, hold that'll it be great yeah, okay so it's a slightly different color but it's got a bigger cat on it um the patterns will vary because they're cut from a larger fabric so the patterns will be slightly different. Is that an upside down cat? Of course it is. Ah, excellent. Okay. There you go. Now this um, this fabric is um, it's linen, okay. so it, it's a really good fabric, and it, it'll wash beautifully. Marvelous. Um, and what we've actually got here, this thing in the middle. Yeah. See the the blob that's not a snowman. Yeah. What? Well, yeah. That is actually a milk pudding. Of course it is. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's <laughs> for a certain time of year. It's uh -huh. a New Year thing. We have milk pudding at New Year, oh. so it's a New Year cloth. Love all the tradition. It's fab, <laughs> isn't it? So each option then is sixteen. Oh, we've got one more. Sorry, yes. Yeah, that's the Chiramin one. Now, what what fabric is this? Because it's got a texture to it's it. It's called Chiramin. It's like a Japanese crepe. So it's the it's the equivalent of our crepe. Right. This is made, only made in one district in Kyoto, in the Chiramin district. And that's what they're famous for, is this texture. Right. Uh, you can have kimono made in it, but oh. it's very, very tactile. It is, isn't it? It's lovely. Marvellous. £16.49 pence for any of those options. Item number is 082744. You can give us a call, 01733602000, or you can go to the website at herchanda.com. I don't know where this hour's gone. Uh, we've got about, like, 12... Never! Uh, uh, yeah, we yeah, haven't yeah, done yeah. any wrapping. All right, we've got to do some wrapping We've got to do some then. wrapping. Yeah. Um, I have just finished that Oh, flower. can we see it? Can yeah. we see it? Can we see it? Oh, can I put it there? Yeah. <laughs> so we just Thank finished you. the flower. Well, look at that. Uh, it's got the colonial knots in the middle. So you see how fast it is? Yeah. Fast and furious. So I think we should do wine bottles then. Okay. Let's do a scoop. I never <laughs> realised it was that late. <laughs> God, where's the time gone? I don't know. So do you want me to do a baby box or wine bottles? Um, Meg says wine bottles. Wine bottles. I've got, actually, if, I, if I'm fast, I've got time to do both. Yay. So what we're going to do is you're going to take your cloth, 
put it. The, if you're giving uh, a couple of bottles of wine for Christmas, bottle bags are very nice, but they're a bit boring, aren't they? Mm. So this is how we give bottles at Christmas. So you're going to lay out your cloth onto the table. <laughs> you know what I really want to do? I just want to scoop that all off the edge, but <laughs> I think that would be a bit naughty. <laughs> Uh, you take your wine bottle. Now, this can be uh, a bottle of gin and a bottle of tonic. Yep. It's always good. So you're going to put it across the centre of your fabric. And you've sort of gone diagonal. Yeah, so it's set at, a dia uh, at the diagonal, mm -hmm. and I've gone across. So oh, my diamond, square is here, yep. and the wine bottles go across to two points. Right. We're then going to take it that over to the top. Okay. And you're going to put that down. It's got a lovely sparkle, this cloth. Hasn't it, yeah. It's really, really pretty. Take the wine bottles. Looks like it's light, you know. It is really, really pretty. So can you imagine getting a bottle at Christmas in this rather than a bottle bag? Yeah, nice. Also, if you're going to a picnic, yeah. you put your two bottles of pop, you've got your cloth to sit on. Mm -hmm. So we're going to roll it to there. When we get to there, which is the point on the corner, right. that's going to go at the top. And you see I've got a little gap between the bottles. Yes. What I'm then going to do is I'm just going to lift that up like magic. Like that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull that through there. It shows you how to do the, the square knot in the top, which is a knot that goes across the top. Mm -hmm. So what you can either do now, if you want to carry it, you're going to make a handle. So you can use any scarves for this. So the set of instructions that we do yeah. is, is exactly the same. And now, when you take that to your party... Yay! Doesn't that look cool? Yeah. Oh, we've got time to do loads more. Excellent. What else can you do? Um, put one of those on there. Yeah. One of the flowers, and you've got the most amazing little gift. So we've got that one. Oh, we've got time to do a couple more? Loads more. Brilliant. We've got ten minutes. Um, if you do want the flowers, actually, we have got them for you. Uh, just very quickly, you've got your bright colours, nine ninety nine or a choice of the green, brown and white, and it's 040782. Another one, another one. Right, let's go for another one. We do whole classes in this, so we spend all day wrapping things. What right. are you going to do next? What I'm going to do now is I think I'll do a really simple handbag. OK. So. I'm literally looking at this <laughs> for my request. <laughs> So for this one, we're going to turn your square into a huge triangle. Into That's not a triangle. Yes, it is a triangle. Yeah. Um, so it's inside out, because this has got sparkly on one side. Yeah. You're going to... Can we see that? You're going All to good. pull along to there. Yeah. So you just slide it through your fingers to about there. Uh -huh. And then you're going to tie that in a knot. Just a regular knot? Just a regular knot. And you're going to do the same on the other side. So you're going to slide it along. Uh -huh. That's the thing, it's just that slide in until you get about the same size as that. This is the easiest bag, this is the one that we use most of the time. You're then going to turn it inside out. So sparkles on the outside Sparkles now. on the outside. Yep. So that now forms the side of your bag. And all you've got, this is a great over the shoulder, over the shoulder bag, this one. going to do with this is literally so that's the other two ends in it. and that will make you a really fast shopping bag you can get so much stuff in here took that in there so yeah. you can get all of your stuff in here that'll all go in <laughs> that'll all go in <laughs> cleaning up as I'm going along and that actually <laughs> that'll actually go over your shoulder yeah it will that is so <laughs> clever uh, so what about Really simple bag. What about the box? The box. Let's do the box. So, <laughs> say you've got um, you've got a baby that you need to give a, a present to the the mum and the baby. Yeah. I've put my box in the bag. That's why I couldn't find it. <laughs> my mother-in-law is yeah. is a dab hand at this, and when we do the tours in Japan, does she go with you? She used to go all yeah. of the time. She only comes occasionally now. Yeah. Um. She she does too many other lovely things. Ah. Oh. 
She is always on the bus showing people how to do this. <laughs> really? Oh, look at her. She takes her scarf off and she just goes, do, 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 handbag. And she's even taught Japanese people how to do it. Wow. <laughs> If you're giving, if, if somebody's just had a baby, I think it's more important to give the mother the present than the baby because the baby doesn't know anything yeah. about this. So we've got a nice, this is a, a lovely Japanese box mm. which you'd fill with some nice goodies. And then we've got something for the baby, yeah. which is actually uh, my, my Benjamin Bunny. So I'm going to find a smaller cloth. In the instructions, it does give you sizes for each one you need as well. Yeah. So there's a size guide on the back as to for a handbag. Um, all the different things you've got in there. Cool. So we're going to use this size cloth for this one. So this is just a pretty little cloth. Handkerchief size, so if you've got um, a, a, a fat quarter, yeah. put a hem round it and you've got a foroshki. Huh? A, a, a foroshki doesn't have to be any particular type of cloth. It's a square of fabric. Yeah. So we're going to put this, we start diagonally again. So mm -hmm. we're going to put this into the centre. And what I'd like to do is, once you've got it in the centre, slide it away from you to the top. Right. We're going to pull that over to there. The reason for that is that's going to be, at the end, the top of the package. So okay. we need to know where that is. Right. So we fold it so it just hangs over the edge. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to roll the box over to here. And you're going to nice and neatly fold down. So that's why we measured it, because I need that here. So this flap needs to be just neatly on this point here. Got you. What I'm going to do is you need to pinch it here and pull it there. So you're making sort of a, as if you're wrapping a parcel. Yeah. So I'll pull it down into there. And mm -hmm. then you're going to do the same on the other side. And as you fold it up, you're pinching that and you're holding this. And when you fold it up, can you see you get a nice edge? Yes, that's lovely. Nice that's and what crisp. we're looking for. So hold it there and lift in that direction. Mm -hmm. So you need three hands for this one. Same over to there. When you get to here, what you're going to do is you're going to do a knot that goes directly top to bottom. Right. So that's your first knot. So we're going to do what's called a square knot. So that's your first knot. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to put it through. But this time you're going to pull the knot to the side. So this is why it's called a square knot. Oh, so the knot goes very across neat. the top. It's very neat. Okay. And if you want to make that even cuter, what yeah. you can do, if you take this point and you tuck it into there, Spin that one round, and you tuck it into there. Oops. Give yourself a spin this. And see what we've got on the top now. That's so adorable. Look at that bow. That looks so neat. Yep. Now, with this bit here, if you're giving a gift, yeah. so you might want to put a gift. If you just turn that down to there, we've now got a pocket. So what you do is you take your little oh. baby toy, and we're going to put him in the pocket. That's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> and he's in bed, look. Oh, my word. That is so it's really, fabulous. it's just making one piece of cloth do a, a million different things. Thank you so much, so Jill. That is so cool. <laughs> gosh, this hour has flown by. Oh, my gosh, it's just too cute. <laughs> Love it. Oh, you've got to treat yourself to this. It's beautiful. So, look, these are the different things that you can be making uh, look at that so we've got basic box wrap four ties wrap you've got your bunny ears oh, bunny wrap. ears yeah uh, mm -hmm. you've got your single bottle wrap there there two bottle wrap four bottle wrap two book wrap long gift wrap uh, there's more there's more there's more on the front there look basic fold bag large bag that's there and what is what is that one? Oh, that's uh, this one. I'm you can use that to. as a napkin. Do you want me to really, really quickly do that? Have we got time? No, we've got two minutes. Two minutes. I'm just about to do it in two minutes. Fold your cloth into in half. Yeah. Fold the top down and turn it over. 
so that the fold is now underneath. Yep. So you go towards the middle and then you're going to go a couple of fingers across. This is a, a big... If you're giving somebody a nice um, towel or something, this is a nice way to do it. So this is a big version of it, though. But it works as a um, napkin for right. Christmas. So you're going to go over to there. Yep. So can you see what that looks a bit like? Um, like a collar, yeah. So you're then going to fold that one up to there. That one up to there. Just going to turn it over. Fold that over. Fold that over. Neaten up the bottom. And then when you present that, it's like a little kimono. Oh, my word. That's so mm. cute as well. That was, that was very fast. Do you need to take a little bit of time with no, that? No, it's but wonderful you can, to see. And if you're doing that with a napkin, um, your knives and forks in here. Yes. So it looks really cute. Amazing. Thank you so much, Jill. That's amazing. Can you make us one? Can, can I, Eck? <laughs> that, can I just say I that don't work in a, I don't work in a hotel. <laughs> can I just say that wasn't me either. That was my director saying, can you make a swan? No. <laughs> <laughs> well and truly told. Right then, so you've got different options for your, how do you pronounce it again? Feroshki. 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 Lovely. Um, really interesting stuff, isn't it? So you can go for your lovely grey sparkle. There's the black. Look at how that twinkles. It's like the night sky. There's your green. There's the light blue, dark blue. There's the cat, um, uh, Chirim, Chirim, yeah, uh, And then the stalk you'll find on the website. Sixteen pounds and forty nine pence. Zero eight two seven four four. When are you um, next back in, Jill? Uh, same time next month, I think. Same time next yeah. month. Yeah, I've got a lovely um, hundred year old silk Orby bag. Oh, my word. So that's oh. a really nice one next time. Cool. Thank you so much, Jill. My pleasure. Thank Do you. Do give us a call, 01733602000, or have a look on the website at hachanda.com. They are some amazing, beautiful, beautiful bags. Don't forget your clasps as well. And you can go for the bag handles. It's been a really lovely hour. What a lovely way to start that the day really this fast, morning. It? it went fast. <laughs> And coming up next, we are Crafting with Clarity. It's a one-day special. And then I'm really interested, Lindy's Gang. This is new for me. And then we've got Emporia Dressmaking. Paola will love that. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint but with me, Achanda and the SAA I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on Achanda because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achenda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now, simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember, it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. 
Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week, on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. Uh, this is why I enjoy being part of the Ho Chanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Ho Chanda. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Good morning, how are you doing? Now we have got a fabulous one that is special and of course it is by Clarity. It's the Make-A-Wish, a 4x4 fresh cut aperture dies and Northern Lights Petite Cut Toppers. Now what it is, is a phenomenal bundle with amazing savings, but we have got, fear not, we have got the amazing Paul Church joining us uh, via Skype. Hello Paul. Good morning, how are you? I'm very well, and you? Very well, all ready to go. You're fabulous. Now, uh, of course, you are going to be demonstrating through Skype, but can you tell us exactly uh, what do we get for the one day special? Okay, so we've got a beautiful collection of our fresh cut dyes. Uh, the first one we're looking at, which is the Make a Wish, was designed by Barbara. Um, and this was to make up the set, which was illustrated by a really good friend, Mel Turner. And we, you'll hear that name a lot when we yes. were doing our clarity shows. Mel's one of our sort of top designers. Um, and she's got this unique style when she's designing. Um, so you've got the beautiful Make-A-Wish. And when you look at that, you'll see in those samples at the bottom, it says Make-A-Wish. Hence why we've called it the Make-A-Wish oh, collection. Yeah. Yeah, you can um, see. And you've got these two beautiful little bunnies. Um, and last night we showed how we can sort of snip into the dies, just exactly like that sample there. That sort of, it's like um, a diorama type of it effect, is. isn't it? It's very original. I love this one because it's a little bit different from a traditional diorama. Um, and again, so you've got the, the four beautiful um, aperture dies in here. Um, and for me, sort of just keeping it simple with the colorways. I mean, the beautiful gold glitter behind there. We've then got the hair in the glade as well. And when you look at the designs, you'll look at them first and you think, wow, these are, these are gorgeous. And they're very elegant, but they're also fantastic for men's cards as well. And we always struggle to make cards for men. Absolutely. So they, they, they are very kind of across the genders, across the ages as well. 
That's right. And obviously, with the current situation we're in at the moment, Barb was saying on her blog last night, um, which is barbaragrayblog.com, um, that since lockdown, her and Dave have been going for walks in the woods and, and everything else, and sort of just taking it all in and seeing what's out there. And this set of dyes, she said, really sort of captures the imagination and it's sort of, they're so whimsical, um, but really sort of good with nature and, and everything else. Right, and of course you are getting, I love at the neck, well I love them all, I have to say, that one with the hair and the uh, owl, it's just so gorgeous. I know, the, the designs, and again, when I first saw it, I was thinking, well, where's the, where's the hair? And then you look, and then you see him there, he's sort of, it's like the positive and the negative, isn't it, with the, the beautiful, the foliage there, um, and um, yeah, they're, they're just real sort of elegant and classy designs. There, there it is, the hair there, you can see it there, kind of hidden, but definitely there. And when I show it into white, you can see it as well here, that you can have him there as well. Uh, and then, of course, you are also getting the uh, Northern Lights panel. So you're getting four dyes, uh, but also you are getting the Northern Lights designer cards. We're getting 48 sheets of the petite car toppers. That's right, so there's 12 different designs and you're gonna get four sheets of each of the different designs. And this is where the designer paper range really started with the Northern Lights collection. Um, when Barbara um, created the papers, they started off life as um, the size, which is a five by seven. That was the size of the original artwork. Um, but when we first launched them, we launched them as an eight by eight designer paper. Then came the parchment version and then we went back to the original size and brought out the beautiful petite toppers. And then more recently, just over, I'd say about 18 months ago, we then brought out the four most popular ones in 12 by 12, which we've currently got on the show as a yes, seven day saver. we do. Now, the, the, why did you put them together with these amazing dies? Will it match size wise? Size wise, yeah. I mean, because our dies are four by four apertures, so this is a five by seven. So if you just take two inches off the bottom to create a five by five square, then it's gonna work perfectly behind it. Um, and you'll see how it really sort of illuminates the actual design and brings it to life. And to have this 48 pieces of card in there, potentially you could just use all of it on the, these actual designs and you've got 48 cards. Uh, that's a very good point. I'm trying to show all the different papers because it's almost like, oh, this is my favorite. No, this one is my favorite. No, this one is my favorite. Also, I adore this one at the very end. Again, I'm going to show you with uh, the, like, let me put this one actually because I'm kind of thinking with the black as well. Look, look how gorgeous. It's like a stained glass window with this gorgeous. It element. is. That's right. And obviously, I mean, we're using, you're showing it there as how you put it behind, but you can also die cut from the cards as well, and you get a completely different look. Indeed. I mean, I just love, I have to say, I love how everything coordinates. I love the simplicity that you can achieve with these dies. Look how elegant they are. But you can also do, uh, I kind of love what the design team members have done here. This one by Deep Paramore. All four of the dies kind of layering, creating that diorama, traditional diorama card. It's just so beautiful, so much depth. That's right. And we saw in the six o'clock show last night, I'll have a quick recap when we come to demo, um, about the snippability of them. So, I mean, this is a perfect example here um, where you've got the beautiful, um, this is the hair in the glade design. Um, and these remove the outer frame, but then look, put that on the inside. How gorgeous is that? Absolutely brilliant. Now, a third of the stock of the one-day special has already gone. Uh, now, 921-885 is your item number. Look at that saving. You are saving £25 in the one-day special. You can spread the cost as well using FlexiBuy, which means two payments, interest-free payments of £24.98. Or you can, of course, one-off payment of £40. 
49 pounds and 95 pence which works out is it a third of the price of that you are getting there so a massive discount check out your baskets for the one day special and you could soon be making those gorgeous cards now we also have got groovy plates um, it is the same artwork but in a completely different way that you can use it isn't it uh, Paul that's right so again we've got the four beautiful classic designs um, and as we was explaining earlier about the snippability with the dies, with the groovy plates, you have that same style where you can pick and choose the elements of them. So in the eight o'clock show last night, I just took one small area um, from the one that's got the hair with the daisies, which is the hair in the meadow. And I just did a really small piece with just one tiny element of one of that one plate. Oh, it is gorgeous. Now, you are getting here four plates, but you are only paying for three. That saving of eight pounds reflects that you are just paying for three. And these are the plates I kind of uh, just you know what i always look at this the simplicity of the plates and just without any color or any picker cutting it is stunning the artwork says it all it does and a number of our plates and our designs you can just get the plate home and as you say you can just trace it out and not do anything else to it so if that was on design of parchment you wouldn't need to add any color to it but when you put a colour paper behind it, it sort of illuminates it and brings it to life. It does. I wanted to show you this sample because kind of for me exemplifies the beauty of Groovy that you have got a square plate and yet you can create an old piece of parchment. Um, so that is the, it showcases the versatility of sizes, techniques you can do and what you were saying about putting paper, pattern paper uh, behind as well. How gorgeous it is this sample by Linda Page. It does and it really sort of brings it to life. Um, just by putting that backing paper behind yeah. it or going with some of our design uh, like the colored parchment like this one here um, I, I think Chris has done that one or uh, is it Josie, Josie? Josie. Josie. So this is sort of where Josie's taken elements she's divided it into a into four and taken different elements from the different plates to build the beautiful design. Oh look at that. I love love that Looking one. through a window. It's just so beautiful. Now, if you want to go for the Groovy plates, make a wish play quartet. Remember that you are a paying for three, but you are getting all four of them. Four seven seven five one four, and you could be making, you know, the, the, some cards like this. That's the beauty of Groovy. You do not need to be an expert, but if you are, then you can take it further. So it's a perfect craft that takes you into a journey of enjoyment. Easy but also you can go take it to very kind of difficult levels of parchment crafting right if you want to go now for we have got the seven day savers which means that they are lunch every sunday at 8 a.m and should last until the following sunday and they are bargains uh, to be have but uh, this one is not exceptional and i would go quickly to grab mine because you have got here a designer set as designer paper pad um, you are getting four of them but for the price of three so you are saving 18 pounds it is a phenomenal price but it is a phenomenal price for a phenomenal product um, can you tell well you already Paul you already have mentioned that the 12 by 12s a little bit and designer papers but what do we get exactly in here in this bundle okay so basically you're going to get the four 12 by 12 pads which is the Northern Lights Rainbow River Indian Summer and Shenandoah and so it's the same concept as the petite toppers where you're going to get 12 different designs in each of the four pads and you're going to get four sheets of each. Now, one of the main reasons we brought out the, the 12 by 12 was as a result of launching the fresh cut dies. Because what we found was that you would use an 8x8 or you'd use a petite topper to put behind your artwork. But Barbara wanted to do sort of like luxury cards. So you know like if you go to a, a card shop and you open a, an expensive card and it's got like a double layer inside, yes, doesn't it? Yes, indeed, um, yeah. Which adds that sort of, yeah, it adds that touch of luxury. And if you're selling your cards, it adds that extra value to it. So potentially, out of one of those pads where you've got the 48 sheets, if you were to cut each of those in half, you've yeah. got 96 inserts wow. for a 6x6 six six card bag. 
Wow, and that is per pack, per paper, per, per paper oh, pack? Yeah. Wow, yeah, and you're getting full of them. Then times that by four. I can't do that, Matthew. I Too can't early. either. Uh, 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 so it's 90, did you say 96? Uh, 96. No. 96 times, times four. four. Uh, well, uh, Meg, our producer, is at 384 answers. 384 exactly. answers. That's amazing. And of course, you are getting Northern Lights, which is uh, the one that is uh, in the Petites one. But you can see the difference in sizes. And it will coordinate perfectly in color wise as well from the one that is special. That's right. So you've got the beautiful, really vibrant designs on the front. And then you've got what I like to call the soft focus on the reverse. Absolutely. So if you think, oh, that one's a little bit too bold, look at the reverse of it and you may find that that works better for you. So it's great for your matting and layering to get that contrast between the bold and the softness of it as well. I mean, I it's, it's phenomenal. Northern Lights is one of everybody's favorites, but you are not having to choose. You are getting all four of them. Shenandoah, Northern Lights, uh, Rainbow River, and Indian Summer. Look, oh, I think this one is my favorite. Look at that. Look, oh, I love that. It's just so gorgeous. It's, some of them, I just want to frame them and just put them into a frame and put them under my walls because, um, you know, it's just, they are beautiful. Look at that. Oh, love. I, mean, I cannot, you know what? Look at that. This is how much you are going to get. I mean, it is heavy. It's just quality, double sided as well printed. Of course, you can see that. Uh, you have got a flexibly option as well if you want to spread the cost in two interest free payments of £26 and £98. Remember that £18 saving means that you are getting four pads for the price of three. 508728 is your item number. Right, Paul, are you ready for the demonstration? Perfect. So if Paul is going to get a reset for the demonstration straight away and we will be joining Paul, of course, on via Skype uh, for that demonstration. And are you using the one day special? Yeah, I thought what I'd do to start with was just to explain a bit more about the, the concept between the petites and um, the 8x8s and the 12x12s, uh -huh. just to show the, the quality on how it's been retained. So, for example, when Barbara created her artwork, it was on a 5x7, which is the size of the petite toppers. Yeah. And then what we did, the, the guys in the office, they then turned it into an 8x8. So you can see it right. still maintained that quality. It's not fuzzy. There, there's nothing. It hasn't. It's still got that real sharpness of it. And then when you bring in the 12x12, you can see, again, the, the quality and the, there's no, it, normally sometimes if you blow something up and you do it in the, in the wrong way, you get the fuzz, fuzziness, you get a poor quality, but it hasn't been lost at all. So I just thought it was important just to explain that, just to show that just because it started off small yeah. and we've made it big, that you're not going to lose that quality if you go for the seven day savers. So as I said earlier, one of the great things about the um, seven day savers was that if you chop them up, I've taken a selection from all of them wow. um, just to show the, the different looks that you can get. So for example, if I take this one here and pop it in underneath, oh, this is using the, the more gorgeous. vibrant side, but you get that beautiful glow and colorways. But if I go on the softer side, it really changes the look of it. Yeah. So that's just the reverse. So because they're double sided, you can decide whether you want the more vibrant side showing through or whether you want that softer, more toned down version. And oh, again, look at that. just changing the color, yeah. it just completely changes the look of it. Yeah. So I just thought I'd just show that and because I think it's a really good way to show it if is. people are going to buy it for their inserts how quick and easy it is to do. So in the um, six o'clock show last night, I showed how we created these two cards. So this one here is just simply cut out of a black card blank. And then I've trimmed one of the petite toppers down to a five by five to put behind, just like you were showing, Paula, um, where you were swapping out the different cards yeah. behind. But then if you cut the actual card itself, the petite toppers, 
you get a completely different look. I love that. So the designs still come through when you cut it out of the petite toppers as well. So you've got that versatility of them. So we did that. So if you want to see how that was done, that was done in the six o'clock show. Then we spoke about the um, snippability of them. So this one here, um, which is the um, in the meadow aperture. And so that's exactly how the die were cut out with just a white piece of paper behind it just to showcase it. But then if you start to snip in and remove elements, like when we looked at that diorama card from D, she'd done exactly the same to allow the images from behind to come through. So again, remove even more and you get another look. So when you look at the designs, don't think, oh, that's all I can do with it. Have a play and see what you can do. And then this was the demo I did in six o'clock just to show how you can then incorporate those beautiful cards behind it to bring it to life. Then in the, what was it, eight o'clock, I yeah. did my lovely, <gasps> oh, um, that's gorgeous. which is using the, um, the 12 by 12s to create the picture frame. Yeah. Um, and it actually sort of stands up as well. So you can see, I can just pull the little legs out in the back and you can see that that just stands up perfectly. Lovely. And then I used Leone's lovely nested scribble yeah. dies, which we've also got on the show, just to hold it all together. That's cool. And, when you, and then you open it up and you've got your card inside. So it becomes a gift as well as a card. Yeah. And then finally, in the 8 o'clock show, I managed to do the, the groovy one. And again, just taking that small area just to create a little note-lit card. And so beautiful. Really, really simple. And of course, it showcases how the beautiful the artwork is and how versatile that you can make something incredibly delicate and something incredibly strong if you want it, depending on what colors you're using with it. Uh, now, of course, that is part of the one day special, the dies, the set of four, as well as the Northern Lights Petite card toppers in there. Right, uh, you have got the details on the screen, but let's jump back at Paul on Skype so he can demonstrate the first, do the first demonstration. Okay, so last night in the six o'clock, I did a really rushed version of a trap scrap. Okay. So here's one that um, Barbara did, and she's used a canvas to mount it. Because when we first brought out the, the dies, all what we're looking at here, the colorway, this is the bit that normally gets thrown in the yeah. bin. Yeah. And Barbara said, why are you throwing all that away? I went, well, that's the rubbish part. You don't need that. Mm. Um, and she went, no, 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 she said, there must be something. She said, look, and she was pulling out different bits from the, the waist and said, we must be able to do something. So in true Barbara style, what she did, she went away, slept on it, and then she came up with this idea of trap and scrap. Hmm. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to put it onto um, a canvas board. So again, the dies are not just for card making. They're fantastic for creating beautiful pieces of artwork that you can give or sell um, and put on the wall as well. Absolutely. And I also think for art journaling, um, you can create like kind of, I, I, I'm a big massive fan of uh, art journaling personally for my personal um, mindful exercise. And I think these ones, is per they are perfect because you kind of identify, you can tell things about yourself through art with images like this. That's right. And, and it is, as you say, for the journaling. Um, and for your mixed media, I mean, because yes. the dyes have got that snippability to it, you can sort of really take the elements like the flowers, the hairs, yeah. the birds, and build up your layers on your, so that's too messy for me. I like the nice, clean, <laughs> cut, dyes, groovy, yeah. perfect. I... So to start off with, what I'm gonna do is I've taken um, one of the petite toppers that comes in the one day special, and we're going to go with the, um, which one am I going to go with? Let me have a look. Picked up the wrong side. There we go. This is the right side. So this is the, the hair in the meadow. Mm -hmm. Now to do this technique, there's a couple of tips um, that I picked up from Barbara. So to start off with, what we need to do is we just need to gently spritz the dye with some water. You're not going to okay. flood it. You just want to put a light misting. So I've just got some water. Um, magic ingredient and just give it a nice light <laughs> yeah. spritz. Okay. Okay. And then what we're going to do, we're going to turn that over and then pop that face down 
on our piece of card where we want it. So I've gone for the beautiful light area at the top. Yeah. Then we're going to take a piece of low tack tape and we're just going to attach it to our card so it doesn't move. Yeah. And then I'm going to bring my plates in. So they work in all leading die cutting machines. Obviously, you're just restricted about the, the size of the aperture in yep. your machine. And then what we're going to do is then just run that through, complete the sandwich, and we're just going to run that through a die cutting machine. So whilst that's running through, um, so it's a really nice technique, and basically you're getting two for one. I mean, who'd have thought that by <laughs> keeping the scrap out, yeah, I know. that you'd be able to get something out of it? I love that. And I, and I love the fact that the pieces, while some of them are small, okay. uh, most of them are quite large, so it's quite an easy process as well. It is. I mean, some of the dyes di are really detailed, but we've got a little tip for that as well, and Ooh. it may happen when I do this. Yeah, okay. um, but it's just it's a, it's like a, a quick and easy way of the traditional paper piecing where you would have a design and you would piece in all the bit but can you imagine doing it on this oh i know it would take forever yeah yeah absolutely so yeah. what we're going to do now is gently open our sandwich yeah. and we're going to move the low tack tape it's important to remove the low tack tape first yeah. okay and then just gently do that and then what you need to do is flip it over so I'm going to turn that over, yeah. pop it onto my mat, and then sometimes you'll get some static, which I have got there, one piece. So we're going to pop that there so it's nice and safe. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is just gently pull out the die cut, which is the bit that we would traditionally use. So okay. you just gently tease it out. Okay, nice and easy. And you can see it starting to reveal itself. There we go. Oh. So this bit here yeah. is the bit that we would normally use, wouldn't it? So this is yep. what the die yep. is made to do. But we want to concentrate on this bit here. Right. So you see I've got this bit missing out of yeah. here, this corner, this bit's fallen out. Now, my fingers are really clunky. So <laughs> if you take a groovy tool yeah. and it's got some of that blue or white stuff yeah. that you can use to attach the things onto stuff, the wall, yep. Temporary. And all I can do is pick it up and pop it back into position. Fabulous. So if anything does fall out, it's a good way of doing it. And I've got a little bit there that I need to just yeah. pop in. A tiny, tiny little. I've got no way of picking that up, even with a pair of tweezers. But with that, it just goes in. Yeah. And then that's now in place. So now this is the waste, OK? So I'm going to pop that to one side because we will come back and use this in another demo. Then I've taken a piece of uh, double-sided adhesive that we've got to show you, A4 sheets. Um, really good. It's ultra, ultra strong. Oh, right. And I'm going to remove one side. So sometimes the orange bit comes off, sometimes the white bit comes off. But it doesn't matter. It's, just, it's sticky on both sides. Then all I'm going to do is use the two-finger trick that Barbara came up with so that you can hover yeah. over your design and then you go down on top and then you push in to all those little bits. So if you've got like um, an eraser pencil, which I'm just trying to find on my table. No, nope, can't find it. Yeah. But would would, would a brayer work for this? A brayer? <laughs> It wouldn't work because what we need to do, because the, the die is raised because of the cutting yeah, edge, it would just go against the, the cutting edge. And we need to sort of push in yeah. to where those waste bits are. Yeah, that makes uh, sense. So you could use like a, so my, I mean, my finger's fine on this. And then what we're going to do is then lift it up. And then this is where the, the sort of the, the magic happens. So you gently peel it back. And if you've got bits that are still in there, see how it's just sort of catching in the dye there? Yeah. Just go back. And because I'm doing it slowly, I can really pick up all the fine detail from yeah. the dye. Okay, so yeah. you go around. And it's, I find it's easier to go around in sort of like a, a circular mm -hmm. motion, so to speak, and go around and release the sides first. See, and I'm just going back in and I can see if anything's left in the die, yeah. that I can just pick it up 
and go around. So yeah, and this is, is such so addictive. Once you get the hang of it, you just want to think, right, why am why was I ever throw away all the waste that yeah. just goes in the bin? And and you're so this yeah. Your adhesive sheets are, I mean, I have purchased them in the past and they are fabulous quality. I can vouch for that. Uh, 14 pounds and 99 pence is for a set of five A4 self adhesive. Uh, I know, I, I, you know, there are different qualities out there. Clarity always delivers the top quality that they can find. I can vouch for that because I have been a customer of Clarity. I am a customer of Clarity. And I can tell you that these adhesive sheets are phenomenal. Also, I will say one thing, Paul. The uh, you know even the waste of the the, the carrier fell and the carrier you know I keep those ones as well because they are so handy for a few techniques as well and yours have got that quality that means that you can use them for those sort of techniques. Yeah, they are, and it is it's sort of like a polyester type. Exactly, it's yeah. It's really strong. It is. So I dyed so sometimes. No, sorry. No, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. They get, they're gone. Uh, no, no, because I use that way sometimes to die cut it from and then create like a stencil as well. <laughs> because the ink yeah, glides very well. They. That's what. Right, sorry yeah, about that. It's, it's, yeah, that's all right. Um, so, what we need to do now is trim this down so it's the same size as our little canvas board. Okay, so we've got the canvas boards on the show where you've got the 4x4, four four, you've got the 6x6s. Six sixes. But we need to trim that down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my Pergamano ruler, which we've got on the show. And because it's got that steel edge, yeah. I can just line it up. And then I'll take my craft knife. And then we just want to trim off the excess. Okay. okay, so we've got a nice clean frame. I'm going to keep that because I can use that for something else. So we're just going to, whoops, I've got, I should have took my oh. groovy <laughs> grip off the bottom. Yeah. So I'm going to take that off, but remember to pop it back on. Okay. And then you're just going to go around and then trim this down to size. If you wanted to, rather than sort of do a canvas board, you could die cut. Um, I think I did it in the six o'clock show. I did a really sort of quick one where you could die cut, say, a black card blank and lay this over the top of it right. or lay the black yeah. card over the top. So you get that beautiful embedded look mm -hmm. as well. So we're just going to trim that down. It's ultra, ultra sticky. I'm sort of like, fingers are sticking where it's revealed. And then we're going to go around and just do the final side. Okay. Nice and easy. But now a card, so to speak, now is going to become a piece of artwork. So I've cut this down to size and you can see it's picked up all that detail. Maybe if I hold it over here, you might be able to, there we go, look at that. You've got oh, that detail. Beautiful. And it looks Absolutely. like, um, it looks like engraved or the boss or letterpress. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. But then the magic comes when we now attach it to our canvas board. Okay. So I'm going to peel off the, the backing. So I'm just going to gently rest it on there so I can just grab the back. Mm -hmm. So we'll peel that backing off there, make sure it doesn't stick to your mat. So now we can really see Got that the people. black area yeah. is what the die would be. It's what the die exactly. cut gives us. And then here we go. See if I can get this on straight. And then we're going to pop that on. You know what that'll do. Now I need to press it down. But if I try and press it, it's all sticky where it's revealed. So again, this is where the carrier sheet comes in. That I can now press that down. Okay. So how do I get rid of that stickiness? Because obviously yeah. I don't want it to be sticky because if I'm going to give it to someone, all it's going to do is collect dust. Yeah. Okay. Which we... So I'm going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to get some talc and I'm just going to sprinkle that over. Okay. Okay. And then I'll take my brush, which is hiding from me. Where's my brush? There it is. I just and grab course, that over there. It, the towel can give, it, you can choose whichever uh, smell is going to be pl more pleasant for you, and then it will have, it will be a, an aromatic piece of artwork. <laughs> it does, yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't last that long oh. there, the smell. But what it does is it gives that beautiful 
It takes the tackiness away now, yeah. but it also gives a really nice sort of glossy type finish. Oh. So let me just move that off to one side. I'm just going to pop this on the floor. Yeah. I've got a fan going under there. That I shouldn't have done that, should I? No. Oh. All over my legs. Oh. So we can see now how we've got that. Yeah. But it's That's not good. sticky. I wonder if I come in onto the top camera, yeah. whether you can really sort of see how you've got that texture. With this technique, there, am I right to think that before you put the talc, you could sprinkle maybe some glitter in certain areas, uh, and then put the talc over it to make sure that the rest of the areas are non-sticky? Would that work? It absolutely would, yeah. I mean, you could also potentially, you could use like embossing powders as well. Oh, that's cool. Um, and then heat emboss because the, um, the canvas will take the heat. Yeah. And then all I'm going to do is just put another piece on the back. Yeah. So, so that's now there. Take off the, the backing. And this is going to give it a rip because it's so ultra strong. Yeah. It's now going to give it, because the canvas balls have got texture to them, so it's quite okay. difficult to attach it. But the, um, the double-sided adhesive works really, really well. So then I can press down, oh, and now I've got my beautiful piece of artwork that I can now I mean, oh, send it to a gallery. Is... If you've got a local gallery. Um, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. That and Barbara has got loads and loads of these all over the house um, where she's just made them in like at demonstrations and they're just and she swaps them around um, so like one week you could have the hairs in one room and another week they're in another room yeah. so it's a really nice way of like creating living artwork really and very affordable artwork as well uh, because it's just pieces of paper that you're using there all right uh, Paul do you need to say it uh, for your next demo and then we kind of yeah just give me a couple of minutes perfect. while you go down the counter that'd be fantastic perfect so uh, you know you guys are set for the next demo of course via skype uh, but we will give you a, rem a reminder of what clarity have brought out for you today uh, you are getting here the make a wish four by four fresh cut aperture uh, dies and northern lights petite car toppers now what i'm going to show you as well is you are getting all four beautiful dies that cut into the car creating those aperture dies. I absolutely adore this artwork. Why? Because it's timeless. It's, it works across the genders and all ages. Wedding card, uh, an engagement card, uh, they will work for it. What about a retirement card as well? Maybe golden and uh, you know uh, silver wedding anniversary, any type of an anniversary, newborn as well. A bit, uh, you know, you're announcing that you have got a new, a new baby on the way as well. That kind of works for it. Uh, but look at the images you have got with that snappability in here, the hair kind of included between those beautiful flowers. Think about creating something like this, a lantern that cuts into it, put it on a kind of a battery operated tea light and then some vellum for some of that design parchment that you may have and then you can have this most beautiful um, you know lantern to dis display at home. What about then the other one that you are getting here? So we you remember you are getting four dies, the owl and the hare or the hare and the owl. You can see that kind of how it works both in black and white. And then finally you are also getting the gorgeous hair with the birds and the tree. Think about even the leftovers. Think about using those die cuts that they are here, the negative Think about maybe taking out the hair and then you have got those beautiful birds on there. I'm also a massive, massive fan of simplicity because simplicity, especially for cars for men, uh, is what it's all about. Is you can do things like this with the beautiful uh, papers that are, of course, um, you know, you get in a set of the petite car toppers with that car song quality as well. So simplicity, but also you can go more elaborate. I absolutely adore a diorama cars, and I think these ones completely lend themselves to that depth of field, you know, kind of going through the layers a little bit of trimming here and there and that could be what you are making 
There are so many different techniques and remember that you are also getting the petite northern lights car toppers. I think if you are one of them that you know you love the you know backgrounds and beautiful inky uh, effects but you not necessarily always have got the time or this position or maybe you are some of our you know one of those ones that doesn't want to get her uh, their hands um, dirty but thanks having something like this that you know it originated as proper artwork uh, by Barbara so she kind of inked those elements and then they were scanning and then printed into that beautiful parcel quality as well it means that you can then bring in look at that I mean bring in your dice and then let me put it there but see how gorgeous that works how simple it is how stunning and then you're thinking well i want something this is perfect for autumn but i will want something for the spring look at that you have got those possibilities now if you want your one day special a third of the stock has already gone uh, 921885 is your item number you have got a flexible option to split the cost but whichever way you go, you have got a 25 pound saving. And that means that the third of the price is off. So please do check out your baskets if you want to grab a bargain that is timeless, elegant, artistic, and versatile. Now we also have got this beautiful artwork into groovy plates. Now this amazing system that allows you to transfer this stunning artwork into parchment. What allows you to do is that if you, you know, parchment is a, t a technique, uh, you know, it's an, it is a scale that takes years to develop. Uh, but with Groovy, if you can hold a pen, you can do Groovy. You just have got these plates that have got the etching into it. So you place your vellum or parchment over the top. And with the parchment tool or Groovy tool, you emboss it and creating the most beautiful pieces of artwork. So what you will give you, the result straight away is just something like this. So you just transfer that beautiful pattern into the parchment. But you can then bring your colors. You can bring maybe just parchment colors parchment colors of uh, designs you can bring coloring in and pico cutting those more elaborate techniques if you have got other groovy plates you can transfer that great detail as well and look at how beautiful though they look and i want to show you another one of these amazing samples 40 percent of the stock has already gone you have got an eight pound saving which actually means that you are getting four for the price of three 23 pounds and 96 pence is all you are paying 477514 is your item number. Your seven day savers is that massive bundle. Now, again, you are getting here four for the price of three. You are getting Shenandoah, Indian Summer, Rainbow River, and in uh, no, uh, is it uh, no, it, Northern Lights? I kind of wanted to say Indian Lights, but that's not the right one. Uh, now, in here, you are getting. Uh, 192 sheets in total 48 48 beautiful um, papers uh, double-sided and so I'll just show you this one you can see that the back is that soft focus image of the front you have got incredible beautiful patterns in here 12 designs so you are getting four of each 150 GSM uh, and of course asset free so it's perfect for your scrapbooking memory albums and so much more and quickly showing like this so you can have an idea of the color palette that you are getting with beautiful Beautiful deep purples as well as aquas and yellows and you can see here more citrusy greens in the, with the Indian summer which coordinates perfectly because remember is the same patterns however amplified in size but with no loss of quality of detail and of sharpness if you want to go for this bundle remember 192 sheets in total each pad makes 96 inserts for your card so it means a lot of craftability uh, you are getting 384 in total inserts that you could be making 26 pounds and 98 pence that would be the first payment that you would pay today but remember that 18 pound saving is there whether you flexify it or not uh, five 
0808728 is your item number. We have got other items, including those square dies that will be perfectly with, with the one day special that will cut it out of the card. Also, massive, massive fan of the Clarity Sticker Book Collection. Again, I did buy the Barbara's Leones and, and the Christmas ones as well. Now, you have got all of the different options, 460 stickers, 452 stickers, if, but look, and also massive fan of Gilding Flakes. So you have got a pen tart, nonetheless, with a set of uh, two with glue and a sponge and overs there option as well. Now, if you wanted some particle liners, we do have got those ones. The particle liners are perfect to color in the parchment, and you'll have the perfect product for the perfect results. Now, we are ready to go back to Paul uh, joining, of course, through a Skype uh, from the safety of the Clarity head, um, headquarters. <laughs> it is indeed. We've got our own purpose-built studio, which we where we film our YouTube um, videos. So this was a fantastic opportunity to be able to stay safe and still interact with you as if we're in the studio. Indeed. So it, it's a, it works really, really well. Yeah. yeah we're, so uh, what are you going to show us next then? Okay, so in the, the first demo where we did the trap the scrap, we had the die cut piece um, that we was left over with. So this piece here, which is what we would is what we want with the die normally. So what I wanted to do was to show another way of, of using it with the self adhesive sheets. And what I've done is if I try and bring it over here, look at that sparkle. Oh yeah. Can you see that? So I've used the Perga glitter. But also, I don't know if you, you noticed, but I've coloured in the flowers. Yes, I can and see. The hair. Yeah. So, I just it was. This is a really quick one because I really would like to do um, a groovy one. Oh. So all I've done is uh, the piece that we've um, die cut from earlier on. So this is a die, a piece of the self adhesive sheet which I've cut down. Yeah. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop this. Now, I need to just pop that underneath so that we don't stick to the mat. And we're going to turn that over so we're working on the back, OK? And then I'm going to go face down over the top so that it then catches the design, OK? okay? Yep. So because I've put that carrier sheet underneath, it hasn't stuck solid now to my desk because that would be a bit yep. tricky trying to lift that off. Then I'm going to take a piece of copy paper and then we've got the lovely Perga glitters on the show as well. So you've got six different colorways in here. You've got a hint of pink, blue, green, silver, um, gold. So I'm just going to go with one of them. It comes in this lovely carry case. So if I just go with the hint of gold and we're going to sprinkle that over as if we were. And then I'm not a glittery person because I tend to find it everywhere, but this is anti-static. So it doesn't cling, um, and it means if I haven't shaved for a few days, you know, I don't find it. <laughs> Which is it, not a good look when you're sort of off down to do some food shopping oh. and you're sparkling as you, you walk around the shops. Oh, I'm sure it's very, a glittery pool is very welcome sight anywhere. <laughs> so what we've done now, we've just popped that back into the pot. I'm going to close that up. So I don't lose anything. So you've got a really nice carry case on there. And it comes with the mapping pen and the sticky ink. And then all we're going to do is remove the backing. So let me just take something just to, to lift that off. Okay. See, again, you could put um, acetate behind this as well. And if oh, this was an aperture, yeah. you'd get the um, glitter coming through as well. Yeah. Or you could do so it as, as a lantern, like the one that we have here, the sample. So you could put a tea light behind it so it would sparkle through the glitter. Yeah, that would look absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And then, so we've got our lovely design there. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring our Perga liner pencils in because that's how I've added the colour. So, for example, if I go with the, the yellow, I can now colour in on top of the glitter and the glitter still mm. comes through. So mm. because it's got that translucency, I can change the colour of the glitter. Right. See, and it just starts to sort of just build up. And you can go over and do several layers. So I wonder if I come in over here, whether we can have a look at that. 
Uh, they're gonna go that way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The other way. The other, yeah. Uh, I, the other way. Uh, forward. No, backwards. 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 And to backwards. your right. To your right. There. I'm going to stick to the overhead. It's easier. <laughs> rather than, Fair enough. I, I'm no director. But you mm. can see now how you just start to sort of build up the colour. And you get that beautiful colourway coming through and the glitter. So again, yeah. you just put a base coat down. And it doesn't harm your pencils um, because you just sharpen them. Exactly. Um, yeah. So if there's any. Um, sticky residue. So I'm using the, the wax based pencils, but it also works fantastic with the aqua pencils as well. So you've got a fantastic color palette in there. So I just wanted to show how you can change the color of your glitter by using the pencils to go on top. So I think it's a really nice sort of technique to do. I wouldn't suggest mm -hmm. doing it with like your felt tip pens yes. because that you can't obviously clean the end of those. But pencils are fantastic to be able to do that. Fabulous point, actually, Paul. Now, because we have got about eight minutes, uh, seven minutes, uh, do you want to carry on with your groovy demonstration that you wanted to show us? Yeah, I think I, I can quickly get that one ready. Oh, perfect. Um, so I will I'll quick, do, yeah, uh, I'll quickly remind of the one day special. Yeah. Okay, so, so I'll quickly remind of the one day special and we will get back to Paul in a, just a second. Uh, 921885 is your item number for the, um, you know, make a wish bundle. Now look at that. I mean, think about this nepability. Think about maybe you are one of those who is like many of us that likes backgrounds but then you're thinking what do i put in the front i love love backgrounds and colors but i want something that is not just butterflies and flowers i want something that is a little bit more artistic a little more different but just still equally as stunning and equally as you know as you know kind of evocative of beauty this is the bundle for you this is the one day special for you maybe you are uh, like many of us are it's sometimes in need of a quick and easy card for maybe an engagement a wedding an anniversary that uh, this image is included here maybe you just want a kind of a card for a gentleman and you want it to kind of be a evocative of maybe kind of like denied maybe somebody is having a tough time and you want us to say thinking of you looking at looking at you from afar you know kind of that sort of sending hugs from the distance uh, because so this is perfect for you. Uh, right, the details are on the screen. Remember, uh, for, uh, nearly 40% of the stock has already gone, and you have got that so one third of the price of uh, that saving of £25. Let's join Paul through a Skype for the last demo of this hour. Okay, thank you. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the groovy version of it. And it's the same with the um, the groovy in relation to the dyes, where you've got the dyes of snippability. With the groovy, you can pick and choose the elements. So what I thought we'd have a look at, I mean, look at, you can make some beautiful gifts. We've got the Pergamano coasters on the show that come with the, the bookmarks as well. And all I've done is I've just taken one small element from one of the plates and then use the plate mate to actually personalize it. So you can put someone's name there. I've just gone for uncle. Um, and it, it's, it just, it's a gift then. So you could do the card to match in the dies if you wanted to, but also in the groovy. So to start off with what I've done, I've taken our Pico squares that we have on the show and I've die cut one of the squares and then introduce the double lines by using the groovy plate that comes with it nice and easy and a real sort of game changer when it comes to pico cutting next what i've done i've got my plate mate from the starter kit and i'm gonna oops, where's my tab my tabs get everywhere i use them i should really put them on my groovy guard so i've got my plate mate in place and when you look all i've done on this particular product is i've just taken that small area there indeed to create my um, coaster Perfect. okay so what you do is you put your um, piece of parchment in place and you decide I mean if I wanted to I could come down there and do that beautiful hair and it would just be another look so I've already gone ahead and traced out 
what I want. So you'll see there, I've now got beautiful owl in that tree. But I want to pop the word into place. So I'm going to use the plate mate that's got these fantastic boxes on so that I can then put in my word. So I'm just going to hold that in place with my groovy tab, wipe with my tumble dry sheet, and then I'm going to take my number one tool that comes with the starter kit and just trace out those boxes. And you can see how quick and easy it is to do. Now I need to stay within the frame so you don't get carried away and go into the frame. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a look and think, right, well, maybe I'll go with, with those two boxes there so I get a bit of a balance. And I'm going to go there. And again, this is sort of like stamping and masking, but I don't need to mask anything off because the groovy system allows me to see through exactly where I'm going. So I've now got my word boxes in place and then I've got my alphabet which I can now spell out my word. So I'm going to put the U yeah. and you just go through. So it's great for personalization. Personalization? Personalization. Oh, it, now, now you have me going. I cannot pronounce it. Personalization. No, see, I can't. <laughs> Yeah. There's words I can't pronounce. There was one I, I was on with Janice last night and I couldn't pronounce it. It was like elastic bands, but the long word when you stretch an elastic. Oh, I don't know. Elast 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 Elasticated? Elasticity. See, I can't, I can't. Ah, elasticity. It's elasticity. Uh, That's it, you've got it. I can't. Well, I only got it. got it because I have got people in my ear that are actually <laughs> speak proper. <laughs> you know. Yeah, we have got Alex and uh, Director Alex who is feeding me the, the right way of pronouncing things. Excellent. Well, I mean, he's I like, you think I'm bright, ha ha ha. <laughs> <That's what he's laughs> <saying. laughs> so there we go. So we've now got our personalization. Have I spelled right, Uncle? Yep, that's spelled right. <laughs> yep, perfect. But that was really quick, and it showcases the uh, the amazing versatility of Groovy plates. And now, of course, if you want to go for the Groovy plate that uh, Paul was using, the the gorgeous, uh, beautiful Make a Wish, we have got this bundle for you. Remember that you are getting four plates for the price of three. You are saving tw uh, you not actually that is the one day special. Uh, so, but it's still, you are getting uh, all four of them for the price of three. Uh, the details are these ones. This ones is the quartet. Uh, you're saving eight pounds, 23 pounds and 96 pence is the price. Right, we have got, um, you know, less than one uh, seconds to say thank you to Paul. Uh, you will be joining us at 12 o'clock as well, when, when you? Oh, With so this one, because I know with the, the groovy, it does take time. So we'll continue this and we'll go into some white work, some colouring, um, and then we'll complete a lovely little coaster as a gift. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I mean, Skype is wonderful, but it also has got these technical issues. After the break, Leon is back with Linda's gang, amazing powders and amazing sprays, and then Emporia does making at then. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy B shows on Hachanda. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Branche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years I'm designing and selling stamps, 
paper crafting products and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hojanda. Hi, I'm Pete from Artisan Design. We're a family-run company uh, from the Midlands um, and we have been going for around about a year now. We design handcrafted stamps, stencils and designer papers. Personally, uh, I love crafts and I've loved crafts from uh, childhood, right from when I first won an art competition when I was five years old. I love to inspire. And what, what my aim is, is to get the crafters um, to see their own potential. I like them to be uh, in charge of their own creativity. What I hope is that our images um, provide the kickstart to your mojo and help you create your own works of art. Tune into our channel, be part of the artisan design world and come and join me on this creative path. I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. Good morning. Now this is a show I am going to like uh, because we have the most amazing powders and whatnot on the show for you. And uh, Leonie was uh, sort of filling me in a little bit about Lindy's gang because it's been going for quite some time actually. So without further ado, are you ready? I'm ready, love. Ready? Okay, I'm running. Bye. 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 <laughs> Beautiful, our Alex. I must admit, yeah, it is my favourite. And I keep saying it, it is my favourite bit. Um, now, hello and welcome. It's lovely to have your company again. I'm so pleased we've got Lindy's gang back. Um, we've had one show here at Achanda and it was exceptionally busy. So if there's something you want, get that in your basket, check that basket out. If you got them last time, if you've made some amazing creations, then please email your pictures in because you know I love to see what you've done. This is the kind of product that you will just, and I'll give you a little, a little tease of what I've been doing. You will just do things like this. You will just make backgrounds. If you're anything like me, you'll have piles and piles of these because they are just delicious. The colours are amazing. That's where we're going later. <laughs> uh, the colours are just amazing. The, I mean, look at that, the swirls. Isn't that fabulous? Because you can literally see the mica swirled round. Oh, I love them. Even, even, you know how sometimes we say, oh, be careful about mixing your colours because you get it muddy. 
I'm not being funny, but the muddy looks more like um, mahogany than mud. Do you know what I mean? It's got a richness, an intensity. You've still got those amazing blasts of colour that are gorgeous. And of course, don't just work on white card. Have a go on black card as well. Because obviously, these colours are something you need to play with. I love, love, love working with these products. Now, Lindy's Gang, I have known for many moons. And I said this last time, but as we've only had them in once, then I'm going to say it again. Um, Lindy's Gang, I worked with many, many moons ago on Q QVC, and that's a long, long time ago. Um, so I've I've known them for years. They were the first people um, that I remember, I think ever, to bring out the micro spritzers, uh, the micro spritzers. Um, and honestly, they've just gone from strength to strength. Um, Lindy. Uh, used to design lovely quirky figures. I think it was 1990. I've written it down because I can't remember dates. 96. <clears throat> that Lindy's gang, it was Lindy's stamp gang were born um, and because she used to create these lovely um, hand-drawn figures, lovely, lovely little characters and she wanted colour to go with them so that's when she uh, developed the spritzers. Obviously it went from strength to strength um, and then and then um, in the late 90s it was that the spritzers were born. Unfortunately um, Lindy did pass away in 2008 um, and since then Tracy, her daughter, has taken the company and again um, just grown the company and I love that I love that Tracy was there to you know to make sure that these incredible products and all the work that Lindy put into it um, just carried on and it is such an incredible company I'm going to show you some colors now the finished samples can I show I'm going to show you finished samples I must admit I don't know what colors I've used because I've just been using everything sorry so I've got everything and literally I'll just put everything on. You know how it is. So I've just, I've mixed up the packs. So I, that's why I'm just going to have to show you more from the start. Just so you can see the kind of thing you can do. You're going to be using them with your, um, your textures. Obviously we've got embossing powders as well. I've used embossing powder and of course I've used the beautiful, look at those, uh, the beautiful uh, powders that we've got. I mean, I've just worked on those backgrounds, creating wonderful backgrounds and then using stickers using stamps i mean there's so much you can use with it the embossing powders i mean look at that embossing powder that is absolutely delicious so that's embossing powder over one of those backgrounds on a texture paste which does look incredible honestly they are so much fun and the colors are divine let's show you colors so uh, first of all we're talking about and i'll literally just show you one of these pots um, so you can see what they look like. So you've got the powder. Now, what um, Lindy's have done, you'll get some powders that are really heavily micered. You get flat powders, so they, they'll give you that flat colour. Um, and then you'll get um, the sort of midway. So they'll give you a shine, but it's not absolutely intense. Now, this is Industrial Shimmer, your magicals. Let me show you what these look like. And you can see, so with the Industrial Shimmer, this is to give you more of a, um, for your mixed media, for your shabby chic. You know, these are giving you that really nice tone. You've got the sparkling though, you've got the mica. They also look quite fabulous on the black. Because on the black, that mica really, really pops, which is gorgeous. Now, good grief. Already 20% of the stock has gone. £15.99, that's your industrial chic. 052167. Next we've got for you. Um, and I just, I love everything. I find it very difficult to choose, so I do apologise. Now, again, your magical. So your magicals are going to give you that beautiful hit of mica. Um, and you can see, look at those colours. Aren't they fabulous? Miss P was helping me do these and she was like, oh, look at that. I mean, that blue. That is amazing. I mean, it's that rich initially that it's almost black. But then when you put the, the water on, it just it just gives you all these incredible colours. I love that. She did, um, in fact, I think, oh, what have I done? No, that's your Mad Hatter one, isn't it? So that's a Mad Hatter, not your, um, your which is this? So this is Mad Hatter. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm very tired. Um, that's your, your Mad Hatter. Now, this is interesting because some of them, obviously, you're seeing. Some, of course, um, you're not really. You know, some of them, you're, it's kind of um, 
some of them it's kind of going into the background so you can see there but you can still see a richness of the colour which is fabulous so that's your beautiful mad hatter that is 052167 i love that dark blue that dark blue is so rich and incredible every single one though i mean if you can collect them that's amazing every time they come to us try and get a different one now i really like this one the mermaid seashells now i must admit you need them to dry before you'll really see the colors i love these because as it says the mermaid so when you think about mermaid when you think about the sea you think about uh, mother of pearl don't you that's exactly what this gives you look isn't that mother of pearl do you know what I mean? Well, you've got that colour, but you've got that really, really pearlescent, beautiful sheen. Uh, honestly, when I put these out at first and um, hit it with water, that white didn't come through as well as it does. But once it's dried, I love those. They're different. They really do remind me of seashells. Those mother of pearl seashells. Um, only £15.99, pence, of course. And that's another of the magicals. 10% of the stock has gone there. 052167. Now, everything's going to be dispatched on the 31st of August. My birthday. Um, and because, obviously, they're coming from America. Um, they're coming from America. You're not paying American postage prices. You're paying our postage. If you're a Freedom member, you're not paying any postage. So do bear that in mind. That's why I love that we can bring you them here, because your postage is a lot less than what you might have to be paying if you're ordering direct from the States. Now, this is gorgeous as well. The Nantz, Now, I'm, I, I have trouble saying this. What do you say? Nantucket. Thank you. What is Nantucket? I should have Googled this. Is it a place? I didn't know that. Oh, I'm so uncultured, darling. Nantucket. How fabulous. Now, this is another one where the pearls are amazing. I, I must admit, this one and the seashell ones are really different. Because that, now look at that, how different that is to the seashells as well. The pearl is different, isn't it? Can you see? The, the pearl on that is a lot is a lot shinier, but the pearl on that is so subtle. I love this one. This is another one of my favourites. It's a magical, but uh, yeah, that is so different. Really like that. And that's another one. It only when it dried that 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 we that unusual pearl comes through. Fabulous that one. Zero five two one six seven is your item number. Now this one is a favourite. Drop dead diva. We did have this on last time uh, when we first had them here. I love these. The um. Well, oh, I'm on 80s. Oh, I'm so I do apologize today. My brain is not good today. I'm not gonna lie. And um, this is lovely as well. Total 80s. I mean, look at that, those colors, that serious amount of bling on there, which is fabulous. You've got some really nice, rich colors. And when you look at all of these, I mean, all the colors are so different, aren't they? You know, this time we've got that really rich brown. You've got a lot of power in that one. Absolutely stunning. That is um, that is a, a good power ballad, isn't it? Uh, one five, uh, zero five two one six seven is your item number. Gag me with a spoon, Gray. Gag me with a spoon, Gray. I mean, that is the colour. That isn't just me being really random. I mean, I'm not being funny, but who, go on, Trace, emailing, who put the name, who, who thought of that title? Have you been reading that book? <laughs> that book. <laughs> 052167 is your app number. That's the funniest. And Mr. B, that's why I tuned on on that, because that is the funniest title we've ever read on any product. Gag me with a spoon, Grey. <laughs> anyway, next never said that in my life. I'm so pleased I can say it on telly. Um, so, <laughs> a drop dead diva. Um, now, this one, this is my serious favourite because those colours, those colours, they are just pop. Absolutely amazing. Already a third of the stock has gone on drop dead diva. I did do them on the, the black. On the black, you don't get the, the colours as poppy. But you still get that mica. You still get a little bit of that shimmer. Um, yeah, they are sensational. Uh, Fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. If you're going for your drop dead diva, what what's these called then? Drop dead, um, drop dead gorgeous queen. <laughs> um, I, um, drop dead gorgeous green, not queen. 
<laughs> Put it back, Leone. Don't even try today. 052167 is your item number. I mean, the way I was saying it sounded a little bit threatening. Um, OK, next, 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 next. So... Now we're talking um, different item numbers. So they were all one choice. We've got a different item number for these choices. Again, oh, there's so many choices. In I'm so sorry if we're bombarding you with choices. Um, so this one, you're still getting five of them, and you get it, um, and it's fifteen pounds and ninety nine pence. But this time you've got the flats. So that means it hasn't got, and don't look for that shimmer. And now this is an absolute essential having flat colours because your flat colours will just give you an absolute burst of colour. I mean, that Caribbean is sensational. Absolute sensational. So you've got that beautiful... And when you look at that, it's not... It says flat, but it isn't. I mean, the, the when you look at it, the yellow, it's still got richness in it. You know, the, the blues, you're still getting other colours coming through. I mean, you've got such depth with these colours, even the flat one. So that's your first one. That's your Caribbean cruise. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. The next one that you've got, and I'm going to move it slightly away from that one, that's your Hawaiian island. And when you look at that again, it, what I love about this, I mean, it almost looks like it's got a shimmer. It hasn't. These are flat colours. But just the way, I mean, when you look at that brown, that looks like it's got mica in it just because of the, the beautiful tones. And that is South Shore Sand. Beautiful. Oh, doesn't it make you need a holiday? Um, 049232 is your item number. £15.99 is your price. And that is your Hawaiian. Yep. Nearest we're going to get to a grass skirt this year, kids. Um, now, next is your glitzer. Um, oh, now, so we've been talking about mica, but this is like, pow, look at this. So this has got a proper, it is like a rattle-dazzle to this one. It is absolutely stunning. Look at those magicals. Oh, and as I said magicals, I can hear my own voice like echoing in my head. It's like I've suddenly walked into Harry Potter. Um, now, £15.99, it's OK. So as I said, we're magicals. <laughs> um, I love that. Now, these are really beautiful because these are kind of your metallic colours, aren't they? So you've got that incredible gold. I mean, look at that gold. That is amazing, isn't it? It looks like paint. It's that rich. It looks like paint. You've got the silver in there. I love this one at the end as well because that is like a pure pearlescent. If you add that to, to any of your plain colours, the flat colours, if you add that to paint, you know a, a, a flat paint, you'll get that incredible pearlescent, but look at them on black. I mean... That is such a serious pop of colour on black. These are gorgeous and um, really, really beautiful. Um, you've got a little spoon in there as well. And we know what to do with that, don't we, Grey? Um, now, if you would like those, again, only £15.99. 521 400, a quarter of the stock has gone here. It's, you guys knew what you were after, didn't you? You must have done, because it's like, how did you know which were so good? Um, I reckon a lot of people have been doing your homework. Email in, I'd love to know. Have you been doing your homework? Is that how you all knew what to go for before we even went live? Because that's amazing. Um, OK, next. Now, this is the first time I've worked with um, with the, the gorgeous squirts. Um, and these are a little bit different because they haven't got a spritzer attachment. So when you're using these, you're getting a, a beautiful flood of colour. Now, what you've got in these, when you get them, they will will only have that much powder in. And it's interesting, is this, because this is, again, something I remember from Lindy's, and this is something they've always done, right from word go. Um, because when I first used these, that's exactly how they come. Um, and that's brilliant for shipping, quite frankly, because, you, you know, that's easier to, to send to you without getting everywhere. But also it means when you get these, you fill them with warm water and it'll have the fill line, Allow them to sit for 10 minutes, 
give them a good shake and then you're ready to go. I mean, they've designed them like this to avoid clogging. I mean, you're not going to get clogging in here anyway because of the, the squirts, but to avoid clogging when we're talking about the spritzers and also to allow those, those particles to really mix. And I like these. The blasts of colour are amazing. Um, and what you'll get with these, I mean, you're getting a lot of colour. So those pigments, as you can see, are rich. But then you've got that beautiful pop of mica as well. So it's a lot of colour and then a contrasting. Can you see that contrasting pop of mica? Stunning, isn't it? Look at that. Look at that. I love that. Isn't that just joyful? Oh I, oh, I love these. They never, ever, ever, ever get boring. And you can see that beautiful mica in there. The colours here are so ridiculously rich. I absolutely love them. Obviously, you have to give them a shake. Oh, look at that one. You need to give them a shake. I store these on the side um, to mix it up easier. I, you can, if you need to properly mix them up, because I get... I'm not very patient. Um, so rather than shaking them, sometimes I just open them up and stir them because I just, because of my lack of patience. These are lush. Oh my good grief, over half of the stock has gone. You must have been doing your homework. I mean, I really need to know. Email in zero, um, sorry. I know, right? My brain. My brain and my mouth are not working in conjunction today. 01733602000 if you want to ring us. But if you're emailing in, it's studio at tachanda.com. Don't bother ringing to tell uh, them all, uh, you know, where you've heard of Lindy's and your full story. <laughs> I mean, they're really nice in our call centre, but after you've been chatting to them 15 minutes about well, the Lindy Stamp Gang, they might be a little bit like, I've got cues. <laughs> so email in, that'll be better. Um, if you want this one, 900103 is your item number. Hold on to the counter, Leona, you're nearly there. <sighs> Honestly. <laughs> I think I'm on my eighth day of thinking, aren't I? You know, like whenever I do my Happy Planner show, I did say I don't realise what I've said yes to till I write it down. And when I wrote it down, I was like, <laughs> what did I do that for? <laughs> and now I'm like, <laughs> it's all right, I'm having a lovely time. I mean, I've been playing with these, they're gorgeous. These are gorgeous. These are gorgeous. Now, you've got a choice again. You're not getting all three. This is a choice. Your first choice. Look at these embossing powders. Your first choice is autumn leaves. Look at those, gang. I mean, these are just divine. And I love how when you hit the light, how it kind of changes. That green, you've got the gold in there. You know, you've got that, isn't that just sensational? You've got that beautiful pink that's almost got like a, a lilac to it. The red, which looks amazing. That, that it almost looks like black, doesn't it? But it's kind of a, a dark, I don't know, it's almost like a dark purple. And that one at the bottom, that's a proper petrol. I love, love, love these on black. Just as good on black. I mean, look at that. And they just look like different powders. Look at that one in bl on black. Oh, man, aren't they good? So nice. Okay, now that's your first option. So as I said, that is your autumn leaves. If you do want your autumn leaves, £15.99. pence. The next one, look at these. Drop the diva. It has to be drop the diva because look at those colours. Pow! They're just so cool, aren't they? I know, it's like, it, it is basically like a superhero thing. Pow! Kapow! Um, I adore these, and on black, just as good. They're just so fabulous, aren't they? See, now, I think Drop Dead Diva's proper 80s. You know, that neon thing. I think that is a right 80s look. Um, and then uh, you've got your sweet treats. Now, your sweet treats are interesting because these have got... Let me make sure these are the right way up. So you can see them on black and on white, same colour. So the colour at the top, same colour. But look how different it is on black and white. On the white, it almost looks like mother of pearl. But on the black, you can see that purple. I, d I just think they're beautiful. Same with the second one down, mother of pearl, but again, different kind of colour palette. And in there, you see the blue. That one, you've got that beautiful blue, but even better on the black. And then coming down to those dark, gorgeous shades. I mean, look how rich they are. And they almost look the same in the pot, but they're not. 
you know one you've definitely got that beautiful sort of copper the other one has definitely got more of a gold tint to it they're gorgeous that's your beautiful sweet treats so they've got that wonderful sort of iridescent sheen to them 15.99 you've got your choice 195.496 is your item number now these are well nice your next two are phenomenal so this one is your metal mania look at these i'm going to show you on white first and then on um these a third of the stock has gone you're loving these these are your powders where you've got loads of of it's almost crunchiness to them they're not crunchy obviously but do you know what i mean because there's that much texture in here it feels like it should be crunchy i love it because you've got that many gorgeous colors in here look at those aren't they just look at that bottom one. Oh man that's ace oh it looks and oh that, that one's my fave but i love the texture of that isn't that fabulous let me show you on black because on black look at that bottom one on black literally when i were doing this one it was like oh my word that looks like molten metal it actually looks like molten silver doesn't it or mercury doesn't it that one's amazing Aren't they beautiful? So that is your wonderful metal um, maniacs. £15.99. 140558 is your item number. Last but not least, so much choice. Um, if you spend over 60 quid, easy, isn't it? Because you want everything. Um, if you spend over £60, we do split that over two months. And remember, if you're part of the channel of freedom, you're not paying postage. Um, okay, so last but not least, you rock. Hey, you rock. Now, a third of this has gone. I'll show you on black first. And again, these are lovely. Alex has got her eye on quite a few of these today. She got well excited on these today. I mean, look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Look at that movement. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it does look like granite. Yeah, it does look like a granite worktop. It really does. Aren't they fabulous? They're just fabulous. And I even like, you know, when you put powder in, you get the little splashes of powder. I even like them. They just look like work tops, don't they? That kind of, that kind of variation in the, the colours and the textures and the depth as well. The different, um, the different grains, that will give you the different depth. That will give you, you know, how, um, how it does have that variation. And that's because some, uh, the the melting point. So the finer embossing powder will have um, a quicker melting point, but you've also got big mica flakes in there as well. That adds to the, the variation. Oh, the colors are just so good. Love, 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 love them. Um, okay, so this is you rock. It is indeed chunky. I love that word. £15.99 is your price. That is 249700. Check out the website. You have so much choice. If this is live, so if there's something you want me to show, if there's something you want me to demonstrate, if there's something you want me to see live, then email in studio at .com. I can absolutely do that. You know, I can tweak my demos um, uh, to, to fit what you want to see. So please, please don't be shy, email in. Um, obviously, you need to be checking out your basket. It has already been very, very busy. Um, studio at .com if you want to get in touch but if you do want to email in um it no i've already said that if you do want to check your basket yes it is at chanda.com what's been the busiest all oh, the magicals so the magicals have been the busiest i mean i'm not surprised but they're all just fabulous aren't they they're all yeah drop dead diva blingy blingy blonde fabulous sorry i'm just having a little you have a look at colors i'll have water <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we can't hear your mics down here, yes, so I know, but I'm being a good girl and being careful. <laughs> okay, so um, let's just play with colour first of all. So now, 
the interesting part and it, it is a, right so you know how we have lots of um your pink um pink frog shows with all the different car stock now it is interesting because i've got some um i've got some super smooth there i have run out of watercolor i think i've got literally one sheet of watercolor so i it, it's a bit tricky to show you watercolor because i ain't got any um yeah i haven't got any watercolor that's a bit annoying isn't it i mean if we've got have we got any watercolor knocking about do we know um because oh that is very annoying yeah so i've i've only got what i've got the little watercolor but i haven't got any big watercolor to compare the two i do apologize so um what i wanted to show you were the variation working on your different colors different types of card um these are my um as i said these are your your pink frog so obviously have a little look because i know we have loads of seven day savers and loads of deals on them now i must admit all the colors are amazing well hit first of all let's do um oh gosh where to start i'm not even going to think about it just pick one up can't okay just pick one um so i'm going for the nantuck nantuck it nantuck it pearls um a third of this one has gone so let's get these out first of all so what the the comparison i'm doing a tiny bit of watercolor but then you're super smooth i do like working on different types of card i feel that that is an absolute must-have because um you'll get different results so please you know i experiment definitely experiment and for some reason i always keep those little lit top bits i don't know why i do that um that one's whale watch blue how wonderful um okay so i'm just gonna pop in fact let's put all the colors let's pop all the colors out so opening them all up i'm keeping the lids there and I'm keeping them away from my paper, so when I water spritz, I'm not going to get it absolutely everywhere. Now, I put mine on with a, a paintbrush. Um, it's a dry paintbrush and it's a soft paintbrush because that allows me to pick the colour up. And you only want to be picking a little bit of the colour. You do not need tons of this. Do not pour this onto your, your paper. You only need a little bit. So that's on the watercolour. And then this obviously this one i can get carried away now the reason that on the watercolor the reason i've got super smooth under it is because any wastage i'm not gonna waste you know me no wastage so we're gonna put every single color on here so pop a little bit here and a little bit there that one i've got quite a lot so pop that one there like this and then yep it's okay yeah so at the minute all you're seeing at the minute is white so you can't can you not even see the little sprinkles right so you can't really see many of the little sprinkles but that's okay that is part of the fun of it you know that you actually at the minute can't really see anything i mean that's that's kind of the the magic of these not knowing what's going to happen that's the kind of the the fun bit okay ready so make sure when you're spritzing you do not spritz your colors you don't want to activate them in the pot otherwise you've wasted them so get your spritzer and there boom and that's when your color hits now the now these are the ones that have got that beautiful pearly finish on your watercolor they will dry differently or it's slightly differently but it's that movement on this one so this is going to be on your um so this one is your super smooth so super smooth the colors seem to they don't quite move as much as your watercolor but what's uh, yeah no super smooth what super smooth does it grips your color quicker so it means that it's it gives you a really interesting finish super smooth definitely work on it because you just get so many different variations i mean look at this on oh this is why i adore this job look at that that does that not just look like the sea doesn't that look absolutely fabulous look at that look at the movement isn't that beautiful so watercolor car stock your movement will be more intense the movement will be um 
it will give you some incredible results. I do love working on watercolour. You're, you're super smooth, as you can see. The movement isn't the same as watercolour, but the colour, vibrancy, is absolutely exquisite. Now, even when you've done this, you can still add to it. So you can still pop water on there and add more colour. Your watercolour cardstock will obviously allow you to saturate it more. You know, the watercolour will allow you to add more and more and more and work with it. Whereas your, 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 um, your super smooth has its limits. Now, when you do that, you can see it takes, don't, I don't need to saturate it again, it's watercolour cardstock, so it's holding that water. So those colours will softly start to, to, um, start to sort of burst. And I love that because it gives you a real intensity. Whereas when you blast it with water, that's when obviously you, you, you don't get, it's not quite as intense because you dilute it down. Same here. I mean, that's still wet. So those colours now, and I love doing this because this is when you get so those, those pearls, they really, really come to the foreground. Now, what you'll find with this one, you really won't see the, the actual pearl until it's dry. I always leave these to dry, well, I say always, I nearly always leave these to dry natural. The reason being, if you force dry it, let me show you on this one. So if I force dry that, that one I'm gonna let dry natural. When you force dry it, you start moving. Mind you, did you see that burst then? You start for moving it. So if you want these natural sort of, the, the, the natural sort of movement that it's created, then force drying it can sometimes you can lose that. Whereas sometimes so force drying it is quite interesting. Force drying it as well, um, when we're talking pigment, sometimes it can change the colour of your pigment. So sometimes you won't get a true colour. But it's nice again to experiment. And as you see here, where they haven't uh, completely uh, where the water hasn't completely dispersed them, you almost get little crystals of colour. And I really like that as well, because that gives you such texture. I mean, look at the richness of that. That is all from one set, which looks absolutely sensational. What I definitely would recommend, you just get a ton of cardstock and play. Just keep at, just keep playing, play with all the colours, mix it up, mix different colours together, different sets together. I'm going to let it dry for, I'm going to let it carry on drying. I don't know if you can see it, but, mm, the drip's going into there, but where it is starting to dry, you won't be able to yet, because the water's just gone into it, but that's where my pearl wash starting to show it doesn't show until, sorry, it doesn't show, oh yeah, you can start seeing it, until it's dry. But even before it's dry, look at the difference. Isn't that interesting? The difference in the, the way it's reacted. And that's all about your cardstock. Absolutely stunning. I mean, look, see now that is so interesting because look, watercolour cardstock, can you see how those colours have burst way more on that one than on that super smooth. They really both have their own um, their own reasons for actually playing with these and experimenting on these, but they're both absolutely sensational. Now the busiest one, your mermaid seashells. Oh yeah, that's lovely. And I must admit, both the so the mermaid seashells and then um, the Nantucket. I'm having problems with that. Why am I having problems? Nan. I said it right. St I just sometimes, I, I just don't believe in myself. Um, the Nantucket and the Mermaid Pearls are two of my favourites. I mean, Nan's took it, um, but please check your baskets out. Um, your, your Mermaid Pearls are absolutely flying, so please make sure you check your baskets out there. Okay, so that's if you're playing on um, your, your different types of card. What about different colours of cardstock? So let's hit a couple of different colours. So, not that because that's pearlescent. Now, actually, I never work on pearlescent. Let's have a see. Um, so, I don't work on pearlescent because it's a coated cardstock. And normally, coated cardstocks, I don't feel, are going to give me um, a particularly good finish. But let's have a little bit of a play. This hour, I am going to concentrate mainly on um the 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 powders in the next hour i thought i'd do the squirts and the um 
and the embossing powders so mix it up and then at least i can have a proper play with product so with this one you want me love ah oh, we're tidying up tidying i'm even going to move my embossing powders actually i know right Woof! live i'm tidying up am i feeling all right no <laughs> i am decisively not okay <laughs> are you okay love no i'm not in tomorrow no, what I'm doing is driving up north tonight. <laughs> I know, because we've got Charlie for one day and one day only. So I have to drive up north tonight. Thanks. Anyway, okay, so let's have a little look, see. Um, Drop Dead Diva. I'm feeling like one of them right now. Um, <laughs> one day, one day only. <sighs> So, what we've got here, um, we've got our beautiful magicals. Drop Dead Diva is just exquisite. So, let's have a little look, see. So, let's start. So, I'm going to go with, and let's, let's use this one on all three, see what it does. So, again, with this one, at first, you're not going to see much. Oh, but look at that colour. You can see a little bit of that shimmer on this one, can't you? Just, just, just too beautiful. This one, I've no idea what it's going to do. Because I don't, as I said, I don't use um, cutter cardstock for this. Because normally cutter cardstock, um, I mean, it's a pigment. It has got a fixative built in this. So you don't need to, like in the old days, you always had to um, add gum arabic. Um, but now a lot of them will have fixatives in. This has got a fixative, so you don't need to worry about it. However, on a cutter cardstock, um, a lot of the times it'll still come off you know but let's have a play it's funny isn't it because i don't use them it's like i just i've got into that sort of frame of mind even though i'm telling you to experiment and yet i don't myself what is that so let's 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 do this like this and then let's put blingy blonde blingy blonde last color there we go okay three quarters of stock has gone here um i'll be interested to see which is going to be our first sell out um check your baskets out gangs oh i love it and is there any pictures coming email pictures i want to see what you've been doing are you ready let's go so on the black oh look at that purple I love, love, love these. See, they just never get boring, do they? Never get boring. Those colours. I mean, that is divine. That is just amazing. At the minute, at the minute, I don't know if you can... Look at the sprinkle. Look at it. Just dance. Oh, mother. Isn't that just the best thing since sliced bread? And I can't really tilt it because of the, the water. <gasps> look at that purple run. Honestly... This is just, this is just so good. They, I, I love these because watching the colour is just part of the fun of it. You know, and this is why you'll just make backgrounds and not actually do anything with them. Because just watching colour is just so sad. Oh, my word, look at that on the gold. Oh, maybe I will use gold in future. I'll see how it dries on it. I'll see if it does dry on it. But that is ridiculously gorgeous on that, that gold. It is beautiful. That is beautiful. And then now this is um, a just a thingy card. So like your natural card stock. And look again at that. Yeah, Drop Dead Diva is just divine. Oh, mother. Mother. I love it. Yeah, beautiful. So what you've got now, again, interesting. So what you've got on that one, it's all moving. It's all, um, all the colours are, are sort of breaking up. So the pigments are all breaking up. On this one, because this is a card to cardstock, um, what's happening is, and this is the thing with your cardstock, what colour holds your cup the water longer? So... That's why the pigments on a watercolour have more time to disperse. On something like this, a coat of cardstock, do you know what's interesting? You learn as you're actually working, don't you? On a coat of cardstock, because it's not holding the water the same, your pigments, 
you can see it. The pigment, it's the initial burst of water that's, that's allowed those pigments to actually disperse. But because it doesn't hold on to that water, these pigments aren't dispersing because it isn't, you know, there's nothing, there's no water for them to react with. So that's why you get that sort of more of a powell going on there where literally the water has hit. I mean, we have got some puddles of water and I bet I can force them to go into the pigment. So that will allow those pigments to move. That, however, does look beautiful. On the black, the black has definitely allowed movement. Um, a lot of movement on that black. And you can see that one is drying really quite quickly. And although the colours aren't as vivid, you've still got colour, but you've got a lot of sparkle there, which looks absolutely divine. Keep playing with colour. Keep playing, obviously, with um, with different cardstock. What is lovely as well, when you've got like this, so when you've got colour and it's still a little bit wet, what you can do is get a stamp. So I'll get that stamp. So get a stamp. These are the stamps from yesterday, our dark room door. So picking up the water that we've got and then stamping with it. So you're literally, you're going into your pigment and then dragging it out. So what you're doing is filling the page. Look, it all of a sudden starts to fill a page, which does look absolutely sensational. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And now just think, see, that looks so interesting. And how quick is it? Before you know it, you've filled a page, but also you filled it with the colour from there. So I've got the greens, I've got the purples. The stronger colours are the colours that you pull out of there, but I just think that looks absolutely divine. I mean, you can definitely go back in and over stamp on that, which of course will do. It's ace, isn't it? See, that one is um, on a white cardstock. Same kind of idea but on a white cardstock. And can you see, as it's drying, and as I said before, I don't force it to dry, but as it's drying, you get those colours coming through. Oh, folks, I love these. OK, um, I'll have a look. Yay, we've got images. So, first one is from Sue. Sue, that is beautiful. So, she's used which stamps? Oh, the lovely Julie Hickey. Um, so she's used our lovely Julie stamps um, and coloured them in. And she says, what, what, what? <laughs> she says they're magical and she wants them all. That is beautiful, Julie. And I love she's done a background. Sorry, not Julie, is it? So um, it's Julie stamps. Oh, love that. Oh, Rebecca, that's really interesting. So Rebecca has coloured. Now, our Rebecca... Ah, she's created a water shapes and captured the loveliness. Oh, Rebecca, that's such a lovely idea. Stunning. Um, she said she brought these last time and that was the prairie wildflowers. Rebecca, they are beautiful. Oh, I need to have a go at that, Donna. That is stunning, stunning, stunning. Thank you ever so much. And it's that variation of colour again that just makes these magical. Um, Please keep those coming in. I love seeing what you're doing. Um, studio at chanda.com. Right, I'm going to tide it over to you all. Lovely, Ali. Lovely, Jubbly. Right then, so let's have a recap because these wonderful powders are proving extremely popular. So we start off now, the, these, these sets are all under the same item number. So we start off with our industrial chic. Look at this. Two thirds of the stock has gone. Look how it catches the light. That is beautiful. And they are quite like earthy and industrial tones, actually, aren't they? Uh, so they're little pots of joy. And then you can see them in or on the black. That's quite interesting how they turn out on the black, actually. So that is your industrial chic. And how much did, we, did I just say? Two thirds. Two thirds of the stock has just gone. Next then we have the Mad Hatter. Oh, nice. How bright are these? Now half the stock has gone. Look at these. They're beautiful, aren't they? Got those gorgeous colours. And again, have a look on the black because they still work. They still work on the black. Lovely. So that is your Mad Hatter option. Then the next option is the Mermaid we're 80% of the mermaid gone. It's interesting seeing people's favourites, actually, isn't it? I really like that. So that is the mermaid. 
Next then, Nan, Nan's took it. Nan's, Nan's took it. <laughs> no, Nan took it. There you go. I really like that one, actually. Two thirds of the stock gone on this one. I'm trying to decide a favourite. I re I do, but I really like Nantucket for me personally. Yeah, I like Nantucket and I like um, Mad Hatter. And then uh, coming next, we have Totally 80s, a good era. That's cool. Oh, this is the one with the grey <laughs> that we like, love the name of. So that is your Totally 80s. And then the last one. Drop Dead Diva. Now, this is another really good one. Uh, with three quarters of the stock gone. Fabulous. Oh, um, everything's going to be dispatched from the 31st of August. So this is 15 99 for any of those options. They're your shimmery options. 052167. Then we come along to the... I don't like the word flat, but you know what, uh, what I mean. Because uh, <laughs> they're not flat. They're lovely and bright, but there you go. So this one is your Caribbean. We're going on a Caribbean cruise. I worked on one of those. And so there you can see those lovely colours. There you go, that's your Caribbean. And then the next one under the same item number is Hawaiian Islands. Oh, sorry, I'm knocking things over. Look at that. Look at the different, how it disperses. It's so cool. So that is 1599. Item number is 049232. And then we come along to the glitzy uh, collection. We're half the stock gone here. Um, and it comes with this little spoon. I wonder why just the one comes with a little spoon. Oh, interesting. Because that one is a mega. That's a mega micro, like Me a glittery one. Ah, oh, I see. Interesting. I was just curious. There's the little spoon. Look, there you go. Uh, so that is your glitzy. Egg. 15 99 again. Oh, and have a look on the uh, black. Oh, it looks really good on the black, doesn't it? 1599 item number is 521400 you can see everything else on the website remember we've got these fabulous squirts i love they're called the squirt starburst squirt and then the embossing powders are just absolutely gorgeous five star review on that one on the you rock five star reviews there we go uh, if you do want to become a freedom member so that all your postage is covered, then uh, go for it. It's triple eight, triple eight. That's your item number. Uh, right then, are you ready? Are you set? To I am any? ready and set to go. Okay, so um, right, that um, that picture actually it really inspired me. You know, filling um, the water. So yeah, lovely Rebecca's. So I've got watercolor cardstock now. Yeah, this is the one from Rebecca. I really like that. I think that is absolutely exquisite. So what you do is, and I must admit, I'm I, I don't do this normally. So, but this is the idea of it. Watercolor cardstock is definitely the best to work on with this because obviously it's been designed to hold the water. So it, it'll give you a better reaction. So what you want to do, I'm flooding and I'm using a water brush and I'm just I'm drawing a heart. Now, I, you can just see it. I should have really drawn it in pen first and then filled it in really. That would have been better for you. But I didn't think about that. Um, so just flooding that heart with water. Now, the beautiful thing is, because this is watercolour cardstock, it will retain that water, and that's exactly what you need. And this is definitely the difference, you know, with watercolour and your um, your super smooth. This is definitely when you want your watercolour. So I've got, it's really nice and watery, is that now? And it's not going anywhere, it's staying in that heart shape, which I've drawn. Now I'm gonna use the flats, because although the name doesn't sound amazing, watch this. These are amazing. So I'm then going, I'm aiming for inside that heart shape. And all I'm doing, and look at that colour. I mean, these are just beautiful. They're beautiful. I'm going for the Hawaiian Island. Look at that orange just burst. Which is just amazing. And then I'm going in with the pink, which again, look at that. Oh, do you know what? It's it's always better in real life. I'm afraid it's so far away. Our camera, you can't really see it that um that well. It's coming in. Look 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 at that pink. You're coming in. 
Yeah, that's better. And now look at that colour. Isn't that just divine? The colour is divine. Please trust me, it always, always, always looks better in real life than on our fabulous cameras, sadly. Um, but but that is just beautiful. Let me add as well. I've still got water there because I'm working on watercolour car stock, so I've still got water. I actually fancy some of the... Um, let's go for the sand one. Oh, I love this. So sure, so four minutes. Oh, where did this hour go? Yeah, we are back at two o'clock. So please join me then. And that's when we'll have a play with the embossing powders and the squirts. Oh, we have got pictures of the embossing powders, but we're going to save them for the later show. So look, oh, look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Now, you can leave that as it is, or what I quite like to do, take my water brush again, and what this will do, I'm literally just going around the edges. So I only want to emphasise the edge now. And this is just dragging some of those colours just around the edge. I'm moving my card to make it easier for myself. Look at those colours. And just literally emphasising it. There we go. Oh, I love that. Look at that. I mean, that is the flats. They are beautiful. I mean, sometimes you don't need that hit of mica. Sometimes you want just colour. And what I love about that, can you see that darker blue? That's from the sand. And it is just amazing, the different colours in there. Look at those. These are so pretty. Love it, love it, love it. That is so easy to do as well. And because I'm holding it up, you can see, because it's still got movement, you can see it almost trickling down like it would water through the pebbles. But it does keep in, it's keeping in the water. So it's kept, because that's where you're guiding it, uh, that's where it's flowing in the actual water. So that's the beautiful thing about it, you're still in charge. And um, how many seconds have I got? Two minutes, that's enough. Let's go Glitzy Magicals. So this is um, cardstock that we did yesterday, obviously on the um, the thingy show. Yep, we're on our brain. Yeah, let Leonie lose. Dark room door, thingy show. Thank you. Fill things in. Um, so we have got the little spoon with this one. Little spoon, Mr. Grey. So... Pop that one like this. I mean, you don't have to use a spoon. You can use the um, you can use the paintbrush, which I have been using, but it is quite nice. And I mean, have you seen? I am using the smallest amounts, the smallest, because you definitely do not need much. And you can add these to paints. You can add these to. Um, in fact, I might have to do that at two o'clock as well. You can add them to like all your, you know, your glosses, um, your, your, all your different doodads. I need to just bring it in because I, I've not, I've lost the power of speech. Those, you know, that kind of thing. Um, obviously, you can add them to everything. But just getting water, look at that. Doesn't that look fabulous? I love adding them to a background that's been, um, that has got your texture paste on it. And I love that because they just move around that texture paste. These, however, look how it sits. Look at the sparkle. Now, I don't know if you can see it dancing. I mean, that, I can see, the, it's, just, it's just full of life. As they dry in there, it just, oh, it's divine. And then just put a bit more. 45 seconds. Isn't it funny? You never want to run out of time because it's so much fun. Please mix your colours. Are those, look, you've got your, mix it with your flats. If I put my flat on there now, watch this now, look at that blue. Yeah, see, look at that colour. Um, the Divine Folks, please, please, please check your baskets out. I adore these. I am back at two o'clock. Oh, um, I hope you can join me then. Thank you for your photos. We'll show the embossing powders one there. Um, but yeah, it's that tricky choice. Now, which ones are you going to have? Thank you. Oh, we're doing a bit of dressmaking now with Emporia. 
Uh, then we have Christmas with Picture This. Following that, we've got the one-day special, uh, Crafting with Clarity. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftiscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftscope. I'm Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a Chandra. Hi, my name's Leona. I've been into crafting for many years now. Um, as a little girl, I'd craft with mum and dad, but then obviously it stuck with me um, that much that it became my, my career. Uh, I think for me, crafting's so fun because there's always something new to learn. There's always something new to play with, and um, it's such a rewarding hobby as well. That's why I absolutely love it and recommend it to so many people. I'm really thrilled to be part of the Hachanda family. I'm really excited about seeing how it's grown, seeing how it's developed so far, and all the brand new things that I know we've got coming up. I'm really passionate about getting back into demonstrating on TV as well, and actually sharing uh, techniques with you, products with you that I personally love. I hope you can tune into my shows here live at Touch On. Hi, I'm Julie. And I'm Paula. And together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship, after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made to the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etch that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Judy Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. Well, hello there. 
How are you doing? Good morning. I'll do all the pleasantries at the beginning. That's how we're supposed to start the show, isn't it? Oh, I'm talking about pleasantries. Let's kind of, um, well, we have got Emporia amazing dress patterns here. And we, of course, we have got the woman behind Emporia dressmaking patterns here in the studio. Hello, Claire. Hello. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Now, now this is, you, you have been, what have you done? One show before here? Two. Do, uh, well, do. I filmed one from home oh, during lockdown. Well, it's lovely to have you here in the studio again. I have to say, I have been looking forward to this show so much because I am. I only started kind of sewing in early this this year, but dressmaking is something that it was my aim to. Now, when I first look at your patterns, I thought, well, this is way out of my league. Yet then I discovered that you say that they are achievable for beginners? They're, most of them are very, very simple, especially Kobe that I'm going to show you later. That's the simplest pattern, easy peasy. Yeah, and of course, if, if you're, somebody is experienced, that means that they will be a quick and easy... Oh, excuse me. Mm. <laughs> Something went through my... Uh, so it will be quick and easy a uh, project. For quick and easy, make. and also you can change them, you can hack them into different things. They're, yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, we have got a brand new pattern here for you. It's the Florence dress pattern. Now, it comes in also, I was just saying just, just before the show, how I adore the whole packaging inspiration. Thank because you. when you're making pieces and you're cutting your size, you end up with little bits and pieces. Yes. And if we want to reuse them. You don't want to lose them. Yep. So, so look at that. So then we can put them in here into the pocket. Now let me show you exactly that Florence dress pattern you are making because that's better to see exactly the finished sample. And there we have it. That beautiful, uh, I think it's linen, and you can see it here, the gorgeous. Now, if we look at the one beside it with that glorious African wax print, that is the bag. So the bag is a tie knot, but that looks really complicated, Claire. It's not. Really? <laughs> now, the other thing I noticed is there is no zippers or buttonholes. There's no closures. I, I, I like designing things that are quick and simple to make. There's lots of steps to the Florence, but they're all very simple, so nothing is too complicated. Now, in the patterns, you also have got instructions. Yes. Now, I also say, you know, the quality even that's printed onto, it shows the care and attention that Claire has put in. Patterns and, you know, the fact that you have got such a clear um, depiction of what we need to do it yeah, gives me such a confidence. I try to make them as simple as possible. Don't use any fancy jargon that people won't understand. There's a glossary for words that people might not understand, but uh, hopefully they're as easy to follow as they can be. Uh, also, I mean, this is other inspiration from other dresses. Now, also, you have got the details of you know where to find your line. So, could they email you or say I have got quite a yep. question about that? Yeah, if you're stuck with something, you can always email us. We've got Instagram, we've got Facebook, all those. Now, uh, for the Florence, what so, um, the first question I would have is what sort of fabric do I need to buy? So Florence is a summer dress, so obviously nothing particularly heavy. It's amazing in African wax fabric, as you can see. Um, linen is lovely, uh, cotton lawn. Yeah, oh, they're gorgeous. Cottons, really. Now, also, we pointed out that in the back of your packaging, you even give that information as yeah. well. So you can see there, cotton, chambray, denim, uh, linen, and also it tells you exactly the fabric requirements. So all that information. Now, also looking at this, it says dress and skirt. So, yep. So you get the instructions how to make the skirt version for it as well. So you have got, in fact, two patterns yes, for one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or it could be even three because then you could do the. You can make it into a top. Yep. Yeah. So there are so many possibilities there, and all those possibilities for just £13.99. and £99. Uh, The sizes, it goes from 6 to 24, six isn't to it? 6 to 24. That, so it's a wide variety of sizes as well. 626151 is your item number. Now, then we have got the Covey. The Covey is the one the uh, you may mention that is the easiest one. It's of very them. easy. It's got a front, a back, a belt piece, pockets, and the front and back facing. It's very, very simple. There's no darts. There's no zips. There's no buttons. You're held in as much as you want to be held in with the belt. Yeah. So you can even make it without the belt if you're feeling... 
<laughs> yep, <laughs> lockdown has been generous, <laughs> you know, <laughs> to the curves. Uh, now, you can see, I love it. I, this is one that I love the V-neck as well. I think it's very flattering for um, us, uh, you know, like, you know, not so tall people. Now, one of the things I noticed about the, um, the, the patterns, they are printed into this super smooth paper. Yes, um, I don't particularly like the tissue paper pattern, yeah. so we like to print it on real paper and um, it's colour coded, so you find your size and then you cut out that colour rather than following little dotted lines or anything like that. Now, that's a good point because when I have looked patterns before, and you know, I'm talking about the traditional tissue yes. patterns, it put me off because, first of all, the tissue, crinkly and, yeah. it, and you know, delicate. Then the other thing was like, I couldn't even see, and my eyesight is okayish. Yeah, and but when the lines join yeah, together, it's quite it's hard really to follow. It's really hard. With this, doesn't happen here. Again, it comes in that envelope. It does tell you as well uh, the fabric su suggestion. So, uh, cotton, chambray, denim viscose, crepe, cotton lawn, cell given. Yeah. That would look amazing also. So you have got that, also the fabric requirements, um, and then you have got the all important instructions printed into quality. I have to say, how lovely I look, I, does this lady look in that dress? She's amazing, yes. I mean, you can see how flattering that dress looks. It fits, it's suitable for all shapes and sizes. I it's love a great it. Dress. I really, really love that. Again, £13.99, pence, a super affordable price for an exquisite design. 888-433 is your item number. Moving and now to the Cassie. Now, this is Claire, uh, Claire you're wearing Cassie. I'm wearing Cassie today, yes. Now, I love these ones as well. Oh, I'm so indecisive which one I'm going to go for. But also, you are wearing the three tier one, so yep. the full length, but then you can do it into different lengths, can yep. you? Yeah, so it comes with three tiers in the in the packet, but there's instructions for doing two tier or three tier, or you could even make that into a top as well. Chop uh, yeah. the, chop the, or the, the bottom skirt tier. as well. Skirts, yeah. So uh, there's is so many possibilities, and as somebody who is, uh, you know, have double a little bit into dressmaking. I think this sort of versatility is the key thing because it tells you how to do a minimal dart. Yep, and there's two bodice versions as well. The picture on the front of the booklet has the sun oh. dress version as well. Yeah, with the tie, with the tie strap. The, the, and then you have got the other version, which is the one that Claire is using as well as the one in the mannequin. So you have got the, both of those ones. Right, if you want to go for this uh, Cassie uh, dress pattern, sizes to 6 to 24, 435-848 is your item number. £13.99 is the price. And then we have got some trousers, Alice trousers. Now, this looks perfect home wear. Definitely. Perfect I, lockdown trousers. I think it's just absolutely perfect for you. Yeah. We are spending more time at home, even if lockdown has eased a bit. Uh, you know, and comfort is yes. so important. Yes. And also, I do think that with, depending on the fabric, like this one, it's actually, you can dress it up. Definitely. You can make it without the elasticated cuff on the bottom and make them a more smarter yeah. trouser. Yeah. And if you are the, one of the lucky ones that are doing a weekend away or something like this, maybe in Sun Ives, I think that it would be so good to just wear, walk around those beautiful beaches uh, with a, a classic, but also fresh, easy pattern. You know, this is perfect. Yeah, they're comfortable for traveling in. If exactly. You and of course, this and on to Biscos, that would be super, yes, be uh, you know, breathable. £13.99 is the price, 167504. Um, we are busy for Alice and the amazing trouser pattern, £13.99. I mentioned some Biscos. We do have got Biscos on the show, so we have got them in beautiful pattern, that beautiful blue or turquoise oriental garden Biscos. Uh, you're getting three meters, which is, I believe, is more or less the amount that you will need for most of these yes. patterns. Yeah. Yes. Yes, so perfect. So there you have it. So if you want, for instance, one of the dresses, whether it's Florence, whether you want Kobe or uh, Akasi, you will have enough. Now, if you want the, pa the trousers, you, will you get one or uh, and a bit of the three meters? Um, I can't remember. Uh, off the top I'll, of my head, sorry. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, you will get two meters. Yeah, so you need about two and a half meters around there or two. Yeah, so you will get a bit left bit. over to make. And then, of course, you have got that striped linen as well, which is one of the samples of Florence is done in that beautiful striped linen. Right. Uh, are you ready then? For the I am. The yes. Fabulous. So take it away. So I'm going to show you. Um, so this is the strap. First of all, the strap and then attaching it to the back piece. OK, so. It's not the most exciting thing to watch sewing is <laughs> no. the tube, but there we go. So we start by doing the strap. Yeah, the, so you yeah. start with the strap. Right. Okay. And then there's notches on the back. So this is the back piece. Ooh, where? There's a little notch, so you attach your strap to the back piece there. And then you're going to stitch all the way around. So this bit will be attached here, but you poke it out because you only want to attach it to the top piece. All the way around there, there, and then you turn it through and then you're left with that shape. So one uh, part of yep. the strap is attached and that is the back piece. Okay. Sew it onto the bodice. Sorry, I'm doing it all back to front because I'm going to show you the bodice in a second. Okay. Now, when we put the, uh, the pattern onto the fabric, when we, before we are kind of cutting it, yep. do we need to be wary of any direction of the fabric? Yes, yeah, so the, the grain line is on all the pattern pieces, okay. so it's quite easy to follow. You just match it up with parallel to the edge of your fabric. Okay. And that's how you find the, the edge of the fabric will give you the... Yeah, the it will give you the grain line. A lot of the skirt pieces on Florence are um, cut, sort of, not on the grain. So the next thing I'm going to show you is the bodice. Mm -hmm. So there is a centre bodice piece and then two side pieces because it's a princess seam. Yeah. Um, there is notches to give you ease over the bust. Okay. And it, does it, is it me or it does have a little bit of a curve? It's got a curve, yeah. Oh, okay. it's, quite, it's quite fitted. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, so it's a princess seam, so it's quite a curved okay. line. Oh. Sorry, I don't know the terminology for a master. So a princess thing. seam is when you've got three separate pieces, ah. rather than doing a dart. So the yeah. dart's enclosed oh, in the seam, fair. so you don't have to sew so darts. But obviously one, one pattern piece curves one way and the other piece curves the other way so you need to ease it between the the two notches okay. and, and do you recommend uh, to pin a lot or you are like a couple of them um, will do? whatever makes you feel comfortable okay. I'm, I'm quite a fan of just sewing without pins but I've been sewing for quite a while okay. so I'm quite comfortable with that but some things like when you're putting in sleeves or whatever you might need to yeah. pin lots of things yeah. So, so yeah. Uh, the we are very busy for uh, the trousers as well as, of course, Florence. I love. I, I think seeing it doing you sewing that gentle curve it just gives me confidence that I can achieve it oh definitely like I say there's quite a lot of steps in Florence but they're all very simple ones nothing's mm. too complicated and if you get stuck just have a break and have a cup of tea come back to it again it's yeah. it's not the end of the world if it goes wrong you just unpick it and start again yeah. if um, um, this is a question I, uh, I'm asking all the um, very selfish questions <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to pick out your brains. So for instance, I'm between two sizes, so sometimes I'm in one size or sometimes yep, yep. another. Uh, for this particular pattern, Florence, which one should we go? Aim so higher or you can always grade between sizes, ah. so if you're yeah. a different size on the top of the bottom, obviously the two separate pieces, it's easier and obviously it's elasticated That's at the genius. back, Yeah. so the skirt basically yeah. fits. Yeah, that, that's very good. But you can grade between sizes for the top. And also, because the back is the tie back, it's more flexible, so yeah. it's, it's easier to fit. So, for instance, if you are a size, say, uh, 12 up, and then you are a 14 yes. or 16, yes. you can... Yes, like for Kobe, because Kobe's one big long piece. Yeah. If you're one size on the top and one on the bottom, you can grade between the lines. Just check your measurements on the amazing. packaging. Amazing. That's amazing. So, the next piece is... So that's the that's the bodice. Yeah. 
So you'll have two of those. One is the inside and one is the outside. Yeah. You can attach the strap to the front bodice there. There's a notch where you attach the strap. Okay. Um, any uh, for? I, I know it sounds very silly question. Again, I do apologise if I ask silly, stupid questions. Nothing silly. Uh, but but uh, you're using a straight stage. Mm -hmm. Is it any particular length of the stage that you I recommend? I use either a two and a half or a three. So yeah, the standard. So That's it's kind of standard yeah. size. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to attach the bodice lining. So at this point you'll have both pieces on and you'll have the skirt attached. So the, the lining piece yeah. you're going to put on top of the, the bodice and pin it all the way around. Basically sandwiching the back two pieces inside the two layers, the front and the lining. I'm just thinking this pattern has got so much potential as well because, for instance, I have got a piece of lit not much fabric. So I'm thinking the top, like literally, but it's one of my favorite. So I could just use it for the panel in you, the front. You could do all sorts of different panels because the skirts panels as well. Yeah. So if you've got lots, of, you could use lots and lots of different fabrics. Yeah, because I'm thinking this bit here that I have got literally a fat quarter left. Yeah. And I could do that. You could line it with something else. Exactly. Yeah, because when you do the tie back, it'd be nice to have a flash of a different fabric. That would be so yeah. nice. I love that. <laughs> so we're going to sew up the side, around the top, and down the other side. Because I'm, I'm thinking, I love black, but I'm trying to wear more colour. So I kind of am thinking, well, if I put that panel that I have got, you and then the red as well, black. you see red. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I love red. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's so there. We turn and then sew around. You sew around the top bit. really quickly put together as well and you're using the linen which yep. we do have got on the show as well uh, which is the uh, beautiful it's almost it feels it looks like almost like a denim it, it does doesn't it it's a lovely yeah. linen this one but it's much lighter so perfect Yeah, the seam allowance that you are using. So we use one centimetre seam allowance. Okay, yeah, because which is this? Is it the same? Well, standard? a lot of people use one and a half, but I like a centimetre because that's how I was taught when I, I learned pattern cutting, and also it's less wastage of fabric as well because a lot of people give you a big seam allowance and then you just cut it off Absolutely. afterwards. Absolutely. I don't see the point. Yeah. So once you've sewn around those, you just snip the little corner so you get a nicer shape when you turn it through. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. So uh, we will, uh, you are turning it over? Yeah, you're turning it out. Um, you see the other back piece will be there. Yeah. Give it an iron and that is how you line Perfect. the bodice. Now I'll give a reminder of what we have got on the show so you can set up for the next step. Yep. Now the Emporia Florence dress uh, pattern is what we have got on the show. Right, but well we have got brand new on the show but remember more options are on the website. Uh, you can see all of them including for instance that beautiful as uh, indigo striped linen fabric. You are getting three meters which is basically what you are going to need to make these dresses. You will have offered, of course leftovers uh, depending on size more or less but uh, remember that if you maybe you want some uh, adjustable dress forms I have got my eyes in, on one of them I really need one I don't even have a full-size mirror in my house so dressmaking is a little bit difficult without neither full-size mirror or a uh, dressmaking so I have got my eyes set on one of them not my eyes my heart set on it now Florence dress <laughs> anyway 
Florence Rice. Uh, we have got this is the brand new, the one that of course Claire was demonstrating with, with that gorgeous, sexy, uh, you know, tie back and the back. And look at the skirt. Now the great thing about Emporia dressmaking is the fact that there is no zippers, there is no button closures, but there are things like uh, like pockets. So we want all you know the things that are useful to us in day-to-day -day life. Pockets. We need them in our scars, don't we? We need one them because they are useful maybe to put um, that mask that we need to have always with us. But also remember that you can create that to suit your size and shape. Dress it up. I mean, think about this beautiful linen here. Imagine a big, bold necklace coming down. Think about maybe, I also love this, it's a little bit of the pinny four sort of a style. You can have, um, you know, a turtleneck uh, sweater underneath there to, for the winter times. Think about maybe just having in the summer, you know, going to the beach perfectly like that. Evening, if at the e if for the evening. Now, if you are thinking, I love the tie back, but not necessarily. I'm gonna want to have it all the time. You can put it. You know, you don't have to have it tied. You can have it lo lowered, or you can put a panel on the back as well, or just you wear a t-shirt underneath it, so you don't have to. Sh That's what I would do because then you have got the ability to to mix and match. Remember that they are different pieces, so you can customize it. You can make it into a skirt on a top. You can make just the top. You can make just the skirt. It's up to you how you custom. And that's the beautiful, beautiful thing about dressmaking that you customize it. You can mix, like I was saying, I'm one size my top, at the top and I'm a different size, larger size at the bottom. So therefore, I can make sure that the clothes fit me perfectly. A dress is always a challenge with me. If you want the Florence, uh, your item number is 626151 and your price £13.99. And, and I will say it again, I love the fact that the patterns come in this heavy duty, uh, you know, envelopes that they are top loading so it's easy to get uh, you have got the instructions and the patterns even the smaller pieces the Kobe dress this is the I think this is my front runner personally because I love that it's a small medium and, and large the reason why I like it is because it feels very much the sort of thing that suits all shapes and sizes and I think it looks absolutely stunning on this lady and also what I love about it is that belted nature means that you can zinch it at your waist or you can use it without it it has got the ability to just customize it again again I'm thinking a black t-shirt underneath it a turtleneck I don't know why I'm thinking so much turtleneck but I kind of you have got that V shape as well there look at the flowiness in here that you have got look at that beautiful drape as well now this one is viscose and we do have got viscose think about maybe going out for a meal uh, on a Wednesday or on a Tuesday you know when it's a little bit cheaper to do so and think about you want to dress it up but not too much put that or maybe this is one of I go to work during the daytime, so minimal accessory is my normal handbag, and then you're going out for dinner, so you take maybe uh, heels, maybe you just put a bolder jewelry, and it will look amazing both for, it's a day to an evening sort of wear, and oh, of course, remember you can wash it, depending on your fabric, but imagine doing viscous, so it kind of is easy wear, easy reading, a jacket underneath a t-shirt, it's just all the sort of, it kind of becomes as a stable of your, uh, you know, your your uh, wardrobe. And of course, once you have uh, the pattern, you make it once out of that fabric, and then you kind of thinking, oh, I can bring this other fabric into it. Uh, maybe you change, you know, the pattern is not just for one dress. You have it there to repeat and repeat and repeat for personal use, of course. Now. I also love the way that the patterns are color coded. So there is no that kind of, oh, I know that I'm a small or I'm a small at the top, medium at the bottom. You know the colors. You don't have to look, oh, is this a stripy line or is this a zigzag or is that the dash line? You know what, how it is with traditional patterns. Also, it's printed onto paper. And I can tell you, as a paper crafter, I can tell you that this paper also is a joy to cut with scissors because it's just, you can see that the, the scissors gliding through very easily and very uh, gently. And of course, you have got instructions step by step with, of course, the, in the, 
it tells you as well the fabric requirements and fabric suggestions. So if you look here closely, you can see that the fabric suggestion, cotton, chambray, denim, viscose, crepe, cotton lawn, silk, peach skin. Oh, what's that, peach skin? <laughs> All right, <laughs> uh, rayon, cotton, sateen, and of course you have got the fabric requirements. So it tells you exactly what sort of size is and how much fabric you're going to need. So just under three meters. So any of the fabrics that we have got on the show, which are viscose, linen, uh, you will be able to uh, make uh, this dress. 888-433 is your item number. 13 pounds and 99 pence. And remember, once you buy the pattern, you can make for yourself you know, you can make different dresses, you can shorten them, you can lengthen them, you can make the, the sleeve a little bit shorter, longer, it's up to you how you do it. Then we have got the Cassie dress. Again, an easy wear. It's the one that Claire is wearing. She's wearing with a three uh, layer a tier, so it means that it kind of is more of a floor length um, sort of dress but you can shorten it up you can make it into a skirt you can make it just the top easy wear no zippers no closures in there no uh, buttonholes so if you're a beginner this is fabulous if you are an advanced um, dressmaker and you want something that is easy for, for you to make that is going to be easy to wear and of course it's going to be perfect for your the beautiful fabrics that you have acquired this is phenomenal again you have got different sizes so you from six size six to size 24 so a very wide range of sizes again color coded and you can see how clear those color coding are in there with instructions as well with the uh, diagrams of what everything you need to do and remember that well Claire has got an experience of as she was telling her that she doesn't even remember when she has started making patterns and I will ask her a little bit more because I know that she has got also so been trained to um, you know to kind of all the sorts of things that dress making and patterns 13 pounds and 99 pence is the price four through five eight four eight is your item number then the best seller is the Alice trousers now I kind of thinking I think lockdown has a lot to, to be uh, is responsible for, including us looking for patterns and clothes that are comfortable, that are easy to wear. And I think these trousers are phenomenal for that. There you can see that they have got pockets, those all important pockets, that elasticated band at the top waist, and also uh, you have got cuffs at the bottom. So if you like that sort of style, that is going to be comfort super comfortable. You can make them out, of course, viscose, but also cotton, lawn, chambray, uh, silk. Imagine this in, in, in crepe. Wouldn't that be amazing? Be and I just think it's just, is this the sort of project that how much confidence is going to give you if you are a beginner to suddenly it's like I make a pair of trousers and that is what Claire gives you it gives you the pattern the the, the, the patterns as well as the instructions to make your own trousers sizes 8 to 20 and the item number is 167504 I personally, I just want to wear that all day long. That or the dresses, it just feels, and you know when, when, what it is. Um, you want a comfort, you want a quality, but you also want a fabric that will be perfect for dressmaking. Now, that beautiful blue, uh, indigo blue uh, linen stripe, we have got it here on the show. If it looks like denim, but it feels much lighter, perfect for the summer dresses, but also this is what I call an all year round fabric. Linen is such a, such a gorgeous fabric. Being natural, it means that it's very breathable, but also it, it lasts, in my opinion, has, you know, everything I have got from linen has always had that it ages well. It has got that particular kind of natural look to it. Uh, I love how it looks on the dress and you can see how easy it is to sew. Uh, Claire was using it for the gorgeous Florence dress. You have got enough to make all the sizes. Uh, you are getting three meters all the sizes of Florence, of course, uh, Florence being the pattern, not the city, obviously. <laughs> uh, and you have got the flexi buy option of two payments of £21, 558369. Now, I was working out because fabric and natural fabrics like linen, you know, they come from a pretty penny. So it is really nice, uh, affordable linen for you and knowing that you have got the right amount as well for that. And then we are going into the viscose. So this one is a turquoise oriental with those beautiful kind of 
hibiscus and lilies coming through but that kind of I love the contrast with those corals that you have got and the white. This on those Alice trousers would look amazing and the flow that it has got. You know, it would feel, you know, imagine coming up from her, from, from work, you know, all the time. Then you put this, this gorgeous soft fabric into the trousers and then you just yeah and they look so classy as well and and this is the sort of thing that you make a dress like this it's perfect for the beach but also it's perfect to dress it up uh, with heels and going out for then a perfect holiday wear as well and i know we are staying in but also we are doing holidays even if we are staying in 754-863 is your item number. I feel, I think that holiday is a state of mind, not just necessarily a destination. Uh, you know, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna go that and then I'm gonna write it down. Uh, <laughs> then we have got uh, a navy taupe polka dot fabrics. Now again, you are getting three meters by 150 centimeters. So that is the width. 